Hello and welcome to Blood and Song. My name is Johnny, your DM, and tonight I'm joined by Sean, who plays Six Smith. Hello. Brad, who plays Octavius. Hi there. Christine, who plays Phaser. Hello. Ryan, who plays Ripper. What? And Dan, <laughs> who plays Lack. Hello. How well are we all this week? Hey, good. Yeah. Good. 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 And I was enjoying the Father's cold. Day, didn't we? Yeah. I yeah. apologise if I break out into coughing whilst trying to do Octavius' voice later oh, on. Right. <laughs> Hay fever still it? kicking your ass, yeah, bud. It's no, I think it's it's either a cold or COVID. I don't know which yet. I'll find out <laughs> once the test results come back. So Maybe a cold vid. Am I right? Uh, no, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not right. Save <laughs> right. for the stream. Oh. Ripper takes 40, 12 psychic damage instantly. All right, I'll take a, I'll take I'll a different variant. I'll voluntarily take psychic damage if that helps, Johnny. I'll take a different this. variant on that joke. Maybe later on. No, Get no. out. That's really <laughs> genuine. No, I actually lo- I cool. loved that one. That was great. <laughs> Did you like that one, Brad? <laughs> this, this section will age poorly, I feel. Of course it will. Of course it will. Fair. But Father Father says we was had probably to better. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing we can talk about. Ours was um, uh, called off on account of theft, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, right. When we went to see our dad for Father's Day, but we still got to, but we still went out for a, a meal at probably the finest South Indian restaurant I've ever eaten at. Because it's yes. like it wasn't because your dad got books, was it? No, 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 no. I thought Ryan we went... would expand. By the way, that was my setup for him to expand on the theft, not to gloss over it and leave everybody. One yeah, time. that was like the most, <laughs> the most this important. Story bit. is the restaurant, not the theft. <laughs> no, no, we, we, we normally so we normally on a Sunday uh, go go to the driving range. Our dad is teaching Sean and I uh, how to play golf, um, which is which is you know really nice good. bonding exercise. He's really yeah. he really loves golf, and we've I've never really picked it up before, so it's just a nice thing for us. So we do. turn up there at the driving range. There's no cars, and I was like, brilliant! It's Sunday, it's Father's Day. No one's going to be about. That means we're going to get straight in on the bays, whack a couple of balls, uh, and they got broken into. So there was uh, there was that's why there was no cars there. There was no one there. But there, there was, was a guy, really what was lovely, the, there was, there was a, really a guy lovely, that was there um, who was like totally beside himself with happiness, which was really unusual, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it the was guy the, that broke into your car? The guy that was, <laughs> the, the yeah. thing was, he was, <laughs> he was just really like chirpy, he was really chatty, he was like, you know, just waiting for the police, everything like that. The slight twinge in his accent, my dad asked him where he's from and he was like, oh, I'm from Johannesburg, so this is like a normal Tuesday for me. <laughs> <laughs> And he was grateful that they hadn't nick, like they didn't nick anything, did they, of any value, which was nice. Yeah, they just I, they just like smashed the ball dispensers. So I reckon it was a rival like eighties v- villains no, a rival, rival golf rival driving, driving range. range yeah. came all right, in. you know this isn't slash tube, all right? You can't just be <laughs> cooking up these cheesy eighties movies. And them as, <laughs> yeah, it's true, uh, isn't it? Copyright That's here. it. We've already got. We've already created it right here. That's it. Yeah. What would it be late. called? That's the question. No, nope, wrong podcast. <laughs> um, Drive face. <laughs> get out and brad that is why your idea didn't win <laughs> but how was how was wow. everyone else's father's day Gosh. dan Brutal. you're the resident actual father i had a, I had a father's day we cooked pizza in a barbecue pizza oven with the father-in-law nice. it was very nice we had some uh traditional uh as johnny would hate that but traditional uh italian music such as that's amore going on in the background <laughs> <laughs> um no nope. and that was it was great and the rain held off it was meant to rain all weekend and somehow we avoided it so it was very nice, nice. thank you got a pizza mm. Mm. well um and speaking and that's, of... that, that's, honestly yeah. that's it, that's, 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 that's no, it lovely. sounded lovely there was no jokes yeah. to crack there yeah. was, I was nothing thinking, I was to nice. say or... Just too and good. that's a war right Hey. There you go. Only a couple what? of minutes late, Brad, but uh, yeah, that was good. And we'll edit 60, it. We'll edit 12 it. psychic damage against Octavius. Uh, still, Italy doing right in the Euros, so I don't mind. We're playing really well. I'm very happy. Yes, I like football. You can That's, like football. Well, it's very true. And Taj, is, Taj always keeps us nicely updated in the chat mm-hmm. uh, in, in with the football. So I guess one of two things. If you don't want to know the score, don't check the chat. If you do want to know the score, our resident sports caster <laughs> <laughs> and, and sports journalist Taj will, will keep you updated with, uh, with what's going on. It's Talking of keeping people us. updated, Ryan. I was no, I was nice. actually just about to make that. Uh, segue. Don't take it away from Johnny. That was good. Yeah, you stole my last yeah. for you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me let me try uh, let me try another variant on this. Uh, 
It's come back. Oh, no, that's it's not going to get better. It'll get worse. No. Yeah. <laughs> Never reuse like, a joke. The Never coronavirus. reuse a virus. <laughs> if you're going to reuse right. a joke, reuse it ten times so it goes all the way back around. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll I'll plan it into the into the. I was going to say into the heist. That's not right. That's not what we're doing today. No, we're uh, going to be murdering some keep, cannibals. Keep us updated about what Euros team you like, or if you did anything interesting on the weekend for Father's Day, uh, in whatever form it came. Uh, let us know at Blood Song Party on Twitter or Blood and Song on Facebook and Instagram. We want to know and see and be shared upon all of your happy tidings. Uh, Ryan's language centre just disappeared there for a second. I didn't use them on but or R, so that'll do for me. Well, yeah, but, none of, but only half path of it made sense. That's all right. <laughs> I got very confused. I thought my audio was going or something. No, and that's I why just... Brad owes me a fiver. <laughs> Oh, you're just trying <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. I've lost control of this nonsense. Right. Um, someone, anything else? Anything else? I got no. my Move first, on. I got no, my God. first tomato in the garden did it this week. Oh, we got our first strawberry, actually. Yeah, That's how's your tomato cool. doing? What, have you got any no, special tomato treatment that you what's the what's the special no, just, just tomato right and uh, um, oh, okay. and you know they have and a bit of love. Before. Yeah, a little bit. I love I that. How's your tomato doing? As if he, <laughs> as if you've built a little enclosure for him, and he's, he's... started now. An enclosure. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> actually, well, wild tomatoes roaming around, <laughs> pomodoring it, grazing. <laughs> that is what our dad told us about in the little village that he lives in. They have open garden week coming up, yeah. where you can literally showcase all of your. You know, people will literally be like, "Oh, how's your tomato?" You, you sign got... up. And come tell in. people that oh, that I want people to come and look at my garden on a certain day. Yeah. That's that's kind of odd, isn't it? We have, a, we have oh, um, uh, an in bloom uh, thing. It's called Queenborough and Russian in bloom, and uh, they basically there's a couple of judges that go round and they go in and you can you can enter um, and they'll come and judge your front garden or or whatever. And a lot of businesses get their flower baskets out and things like that. It's really nice. Oh, we have quite cute. a lot of garden shows out here in the country as well. So I think it's uh, yeah, it's a staple part of British culture is, you know, a decent pub lunch and then having old Arthur over to inspect your allotment. <laughs> is that what you call and it? This, <laughs> is that what like you call a... it when old <laughs> Uncle Arthur inspects your allotment? <laughs> Sorry, like carry on. Have this thing where you know you just ring up some random person to come around and insult your garden. <laughs> no, it's I've grown my garden. Come it's... It. <laughs> Maybe I should do that I for my garden because I've You're literally just got grass. Garden. That's like that is my garden is just grass, not even well cut grass. <laughs> not even well cut. <laughs> Talking of <sighs> well cut grass. No. no, no, go to it, Brad. Roll the fucking credits. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome back. And the one I wanted has disappeared. Um, sorry, folks, just having a slight that is sorry, st- story. Story of my go. life, Johnny. That is the story of my life. I'm sorry, but I had to marry Nikki. <laughs> um, so you've been on some journeys, doing some stuff, D and D in it, and you've managed to um, successfully defeat one rising plague in the north of Chanel and Republic and you have moved south via teleportation losing one of your party to return to Cinderbane to stifle the or stem the source of this returning plague returning returning to Cinderbane you found the streets overridden with I mean mad hungry cannibals was one way they were described plague victims is probably a, a more accurate reflection. Uh, upon speaking to some allies, you headed to the 
a place in the cinders where you found the last host of sin following a fight where I think it's fair to say you kind of annihilated it um, with a plum. You thought the drop on us once or twice, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was looked tense, but actually, none of you went down. You did some serious damage. It was pretty good. I look like a tit, though, but let's... Uh, what about... The yeah, but bit. in the game. Yes, no, which is fine. <laughs> right. It's all fair. It's all fair. Yeah. I always look like a tit. Look at this. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to say anything. Um, but uh, after that, then... In classic Alexis D&D just calling style. me a tit. Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> right. Even the robots know, Sean. Uh, the in classic D&D style, the party had quite a long discussion about what to do about what turned out to be just a hole in the floor, uh, a fissure that ran deep into the earth. That's, that's twice in our tenure, by the way. First was a cave that went nowhere, and now a yeah. fissure that went nowhere. I think, like from now on, nobody investigate any cracks. <laughs> right? What if there's a crack above us? We've got to investigate a crack above us. It's the only one we haven't done yet. That's a very yeah, fair point. True. Right, we'll keep that in the mind. Always right. investigate a crack. And then maybe like, you. maybe like a crack in the dimension. Wasn't we'll go it? and definitely investigate that one as well. The that last one's definitely one, quite a big though, one there was the crack in the floor and that's where the things came up and we didn't look. <laughs> was hiding in a fissure in the floor. That That's very true. Um, having ascertained that the fissure just splintered off into the natural crust of, I say the earth, but the world, you decided to return back through the cinders to the hospital where Inmara was hopefully awaiting you. On the way, you ran into a rather large crowd. And that's where we're picking up, with the five of you staring down at a crowd of maybe 70 people lumbering towards you. All right, all right, guys, don't worry. Uh, I've got this one. And um, Fix has already backed into, if he can, some sort of alley, and he's he's hiding himself, preparing himself. Is okay. my make a stealth check? Well, <laughs> I use the term <laughs> hiding loosely, but uh, that <laughs> yeah. is an action to hide. <laughs> How long has it been since we were at the cinders, journey-wise? Uh, it's probably been about 35, 40 minutes. Okay, I cool. do believe you lost concentration on your pass without trace in the fight. I did, but I've my bird's still out for another twenty minutes. Okay. 14 on, <laughs> Fourteen on the stealth check. Fourteen on the stealth check. Six <clears throat> is, I mean, reasonably well hidden from this crowd. You can all see him very obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, six. Uh, well, do you remember last time, guys, when we were in that village, right? And there was all those things, and I said that really cool thing. I was like, "Yeah, I'm always holy or whatever." Yes, don't worry. Like, let them come here, and then I'll just make them all run away. Don't worry about it. It'd be fine. Look, that's what I'm here for. I mean, you know? what if what it? if they are not undead? Oh look, they eat people. How many how many eat how many people that eat people do you know are alive? I don't think cannibals are aren't they? They are they are alive because don't they eat people to stay alive? If they weren't Isn't... undead, you, Paisy, you ain't you ain't ever heard a heard a, a, a zombie. Yeah, but well, a zombie is no. not a cannibal because it is no longer a person once it becomes. Well, a zombie. I mean that's that, that's a theological debate that you have to have there, right? Like, are they still people? It I mean, like little, they um, were like they are still coming at us. Um, probably have this yeah. conversation it's another right. time. I've got yes. it. I've got it. I've got it. When they get okay, here, okay, okay. I'll just do a little. I'll slam this. You know, power so these people are here. about the crowd's about fifty feet away <laughs> now through the falling ash and the kind of dense, uh, kind of low lying fog that's around in the early morning. What would you like to do? Um, Faze is going to get out her... I, I know it's not a sonic screwdriver. The all-purpose tool. <laughs> just just have it ready, just down her side, down by her side. Um, and can we hear anything? Are they saying anything? Mm, I'll, yeah, I've been Make trying to sort of almost yeah, meditate to such, sort of try and hear what they're saying. From behind a wall, you'd have disadvantage. Nah, you can hear someone time. from around the corner. I can't see them, but I'm just hiding around the you corner. You know what you I'd can't hear? To hear them. Someone from behind the corner, behind Ripper, talking loudly. Okay, that, that I'm, I'm going to cast uh, Healing Word on myself quickly before they arrive. Okay. I'm going to do it. I called a, a rolled Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Um, being a little bit lower down, uh, the, the fog is a little bit thicker around you, which has the bonus of muffling Ripper's yapping <laughs> snout. And um, as you're listening, you can hear talking. You can't quite make out the words yet, but you can clearly hear talking. 
Okay. Last time they were saying stuff like, weren't they? Were they, were they talking about being hungry and stuff like that? I want to eat your know. feet. There was yes, they were saying. Oh, yeah, they feet. they seemed to have quite a fascination with feet. Mm, you know what? I heard of that in a club <laughs> once. It's quite interesting. <laughs> The DM has a drastically different recollection of that encounter. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm not sure I remember that either. <laughs> I guess um, Ripper's like spinning his staff because it's two ended, just making that. Your staff or your glaive? Glaive, sorry. As it's like just as it's just spinning it between his hands. Waiting, waiting, waiting for them to come in. Like the ship comes in. They... Octavius takes a step back away from 17. They... the Ripper. <laughs> Are they definitely shuffling towards us? As in, as yeah. they've noticed us and we're their target? I would like to know well, when they can... are within 30 feet of me, please. <laughs> you can see, well, they're getting about there now, I'll say, because okay. they've been moving this whole time. So they are now about 30 feet away. Mm -hmm. All right, you fiends, you evil cannibals, those who eat, fear the wrath of Alluria. And he's going to, I'm going to slam my staff into the ground and cast Turn the Unholy. Okay, and that works on fiends and undead, right? It works on fiends and undead. So you all see rapper, uh, rapper, rapper. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> not earned that yet. <laughs> you see Ripper slam his glaive into the ground, and <laughs> a pulse of white light shoots out, tinged with green, from Aluria's creative force. You see the fog ripple and the ash kind of <laughs> blown back over these shapes to no effect okay six swaps his puts a shield uh, oh what's going on he puts a shield behind his back gets the butcher shield out and prepares himself from around i the mean corner. ripper that I didn't know, work well i mean i know i know like one in five guys but like that normally works it worked the last time i did it well it didn't work uh, this time um, well, maybe, maybe, um, maybe, maybe, um, um, and Ripper just starts running starts. backwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you, uh, Phaser, I'm assuming you're still listening, you'll start to pick out yeah. in a little bit more detail those voices with that dirty 20, I'd say that would carry on. You begin to hear voices going, Wait, wait, is that you? Help, help! Oh, okay. Um, hold on, everybody. Um, uh, and she's going to climb on top of Toots uh, and just hold her arms up in the air and go, just wait where you are. Stop there. Who's who's coming? What? Do you make mean us any harm? Make a persuasion check. Hold on, Try intimidation if you like. Hands wait, wait, up wait. if you're a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I've got a thing. I've got a thing. It's the infused... It's a new thing. Damn it, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Uh, no, that's tool expertise. I think it's... What did don't I worry, do? take as long as you need, as long as you get it right. Because <laughs> we no, don't want these things to of, us. There's some kind of... I've got to try and find it on this bloody thing. There's some kind of glasses that help with charm, I think. Is that wow. specifically charm? Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. No, it is... I. So I have replicate magic item. Yeah. I've created eyes of charming. So you okay. can see infusion. What does it say? You replicate a particular magic item. You can no, 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 no. That's for the actual replicate magic item. Uh, these crystal lenses fit over the eyes. They have three charges. While wearing them, you exp expend one charge as an action to cast the charm person spell, which is a save DC 13 on a humanoid within 30 feet of you, provided that you and the target can see each other. So charm person maybe is, good. The, is there a lead person in front of them? Uh, it's tough happen. to see through the crowd. Um, I say there's about seventy strong, roughly, but you could certainly try. Are you okay. going to ca cast charm person? Yes, I will charge charm person on the person who is closest to me. So okay. it's a safety C of thirteen. Uh oh, I'm scared. <laughs> so you see one of the figures just stopping about 25 feet away now, starting to become really visible through the low light and through the ash and the fog. And you see one of them say, we're not here to hurt you. Please help us. Can I see if he's lying? Mm -hmm. Please. Make an insight check. An insight check. Uh... Oh no. Ah, nice. 24. 
<laughs> from your time in although you've been a scout you have obviously served in battles you are, you are well aware when a scream for help or a cry for help is genuine and pained rather than uh, nefarious Lack's gonna just jump down run straight towards them all okay um... Lack as you run towards them kind of pushing through the fog to the point about 10 feet away where you can see you see a huddled mass of 70 people black oil dropping off them like almost like a crust that's suddenly mm -hmm. gone soft and is falling off you can see cuts on their faces sores pustules and they are kind of crying and sobbing and stinking as uh, this entire mass of people in fact make an insight check for me okie dokie insight Bit. Oh. Ah, well that's a natural one so for a total of nine okay good start today total of nine mm -hmm. um you do recognize a couple of them as people that had been in the square when you in the forum when you ah, took the route down um well i'm going to run up in front of them and i'm gonna pull the shard out and hold it towards all the the plague basically. are you just holding it yeah in my hand like presenting it towards the okay you hold up a shard in front of a crowd of 70 people okay and i'm gonna like try and focus my will towards it a bit like right i've been watching Rayo and the last dragon yeah, no spoilers, I haven't too. seen it yet. I haven't seen it, <laughs> I saw that oh, I I'm basically it fighting the Droon here with my <laughs> dragon shard. Is what oh, I'm doing. I don't understand that reference No, yet. I have no I idea know. either. You I have will. no idea either. You will. You will. Sean, Sean hasn't it's, given me his uh, Disney Plus yet. so I Wait, I gave you my either. Sky. Right, that's, that's significant. Yeah, yeah. That is a significant. You are an adult with a good job. Get your own <laughs> yes. bloody Disney Plus. You are like You've got to cut corners where you can. Yeah, oh. the rich don't get oh, rich my, by No, their my money parents away, understand. Very true. I still pay for my parents' Netflix and they exactly. earn a six figure salary between them. <laughs> exactly. So, privilege. Okay. I know. Um, <laughs> right, Dan. It's okay, Bradley's poor. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm poor. Fuck me. Lack, roll a D100 for me as you focus. Oh, no, why did I do this? Don't like kill Just someone kill with your all. chop Could off you someone's imagine? head or something. Yeah. Could I think seeing that no one else has run, Ripper's going to like trot mm. back. <laughs> D100 uh, just crashed on that. That's worrying, isn't it? <laughs> Try to roll a D100. That's better. It's a real life effect. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> 35. 35. Mm. Now, wonderfully, I have put. Ah, oh, I can do that. I didn't know I could do that. So, as you hold up the shards, mm. this kind of ethereal blue rainbow light. <clears throat> pulses out briefly and you are stunned for six seconds as you just find yourself frozen in place only your eyes twitching uh, like you've been captured by the collectors and they're just about to pick you up in mass effect too something is something's i feel that's a channeling of something assuming direct control um, <laughs> phases, phases is going to come up uh, she's gonna drop she was standing on two she's gonna drop down in, into a, a sort of saddle position walk forward next to lack so as you're all getting closer you can see that some of them kind of just drop to their knees um i would say octavius can you make me a medicine check please as uh, you are probably yes, the most skilled in this particular area oh i rolled low so a 12 so I rolled a four. Do. you can see that these people are not well at all they have been suffering however it's clear that whatever the oil is that covers them, the corruption that you would assume has come from the host of sin, it's dropping off. Like you can see it sloughing off their bodies. Yes. What so happens what? when it drops off? Yeah, Just... hold on a minute. So when you say dropping off, is it like No, I don't like Johnny's face. I don't like his is face. It, <laughs> is it like uh is it like it's taken an arm with it, or is it just like Oh, he's got an arm off! Oh, he's got an arm off! Just or is like it just oil, like, oil, it was just like if you put your hand in a tub of jelly and you went like that and it just slides off. Well, Ripper, make an insight check. <laughs> Can or I a try perception and... check. Can I try use Gust to blow it off some of the people? You can certainly try. <laughs> will it, will it that knock perception check is a 22. 
So as you're looking, Ripper, it's fairly easy to see bits of pale grey skin underneath. The kind of grey that's of sickly people who've been sick for a long time. Um, the blackness where it drops off is revealing more and more skin from under these people. You can see it bleeding out of their eyes and in front of you on some of them as you are now close you can see the bits that had been kind of rock hard literally loosening in front of you and beginning to bubble and run down. Are we, how close are we to the hospital? More Raya, more Raya quotes without even knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Probably know, right? about 15 minute walk. Okay. Um, perhaps if I think I think I'm probably gonna we take the long way around I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go straight to the hospital on two okay. and so, two so you're gonna leave go. everyone else here I'm gonna yeah I think so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn around and tell them what I'm gonna do I said these people need help I think I need isn't to that, some doctors isn't that through oh wait are they at the for, are we at the forum not yet you are about 15 minutes away from the forum you were still oh, kind of okay. at the cusp oh, of the cinders right Everyone, please follow, to... follow the mechanical pangolin. That's if we lead them to the hospital. I mean, does anyone know what a pangolin is? They... There are, there are some confused faces in the crowd. <laughs> um, How about, I guess follow... Then, follow me. <laughs> yes, follow, follow her. <laughs> um, it's sort of like the shittest Pied Piper ever, because instead yeah. of rats, you've just got a uh, shambling no, mound gonna... of sickly people behind you. She's <laughs> gonna, she's gonna use. Uh, I think she's got her magical. Let me think. I, I think she's probably gonna use, just use prestigitation or something because she can I... make something glow. So she's just. I... Gonna uh, can I? Can I suggest that I will? I will take your multi tool and I'll poke it with my glaive and I'll cast the light cantrip on it. So it's okay. like. Uh... Okay. I will say oh, we, we might be reaching the limits of prestidigitation's thing with 70 a, people. No, I don't, no, I don't mean clean them. I don't mean okay. clean them. It's the light. It's the light. It's right, like, okay. follow, follow the light. I'll cast, I'll cast light um, on, on your... So you've got like a beacon, right. basically. I, I'd like Octavius to do what he can and heal two people closest to him with healing word. Okay, you put your healing energy into them and it doesn't seem to have much effect. You can see that... It's not that they kind of had low health, as opposed to they are sickly at this stage. As, they as do you, seem kind of buoyed up by it briefly. Consider the plague a disease. It is not something you've yet found out. I, as, I, mean, as, I can as, find out. As six is sort of, um, you know, sort of making sure everybody's going to the place okay, he's he's making sure that everybody keeps their distance from the plague victims. That's that's his primary concern, but he doesn't tell anyone. He's like actually moving them like two meters apart. <laughs> he's like, you know, gently, gently as he's sort of doing it, he's keeping everyone apart. Did you find it out? <laughs> yeah. Octavius walks up to the closest person, touches them and casts a lesser restoration. You feel this magic release out of you, pulse over the body, no effect. Ooh. I do not think it uh, is poison or disease in nature. Um, we mm. will have to have Imara tell us what's wrong, I think. Okay. Follow me! <laughs> We're out to see the wizard. <laughs> and uh, as you head back to the House of Healing, you eventually reach the Forum. Just as kind of the first light is beginning to crest through, now the ash is still falling, the fog is still low, but there's sort of like a slight orange glow to the sky as you reach the open doors of the hospital, where previously they had been barricaded. Do they look um, like they've been torn off or removed? Yeah. Non Make an investigation yeah. check. Shall. Oh, I've got the new dice, and it sounds like you know organs Skin. and whatnot. Yeah, it's nasty, and I can't turn it off. <laughs> uh, on the new D and D Beyond dice, um, nine for my for my perception. I mean, it, it looks oh, like investigation. A lot of bloody feet, and a a lot of bloody feet, and <laughs> um, it's very obvious to see that the hinges have been torn off. Tap six okay. on the shoulder, and I just ready my clave, and I point. Yeah. 
Uh, well, I've already got the butcher shield out, and I'm letting everybody know that it looks like it's been forcibly removed. Mm. Okay. What would you like to do? Um, Faze has got pulled out her crossbow as well with her around. Black's gonna try. How hard, how tall is this place? Can he scale? Is it more? Than I mean, one it's story? a good. No, this, the hospital is about four stories high, I believe. Yeah. Three, four stories high. It's kind of a very old, very big building. Is there a window Ish. open one story up? Um, we covered this last episode, uh, but for our human memory's sake. Yes. So there, it, there was. You guys had seen an open window on the third floor around the side of the building. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where you had stayed the night previously. Right. Okay. But on the ground floor, you hadn't seen an easy egress, which is why ingress. Sorry, which is why you decided right. to take the sewers. In which case, I shall um, shadow my brother. Okay. I think we're gonna, if we tell the the people to wait, um, I think we need just need to. I, I think we should go and investigate. I think. Give us just 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 give us <laughs> shutting the doors. Just give us one minute. Just just, just one second. <laughs> <laughs> one second. Torn wait doors. There. Have a seat. Yeah, pretty much done. Um, so as you head into the hospital, you see the reception. You would recognise it from the other times you have been here. And you see it has been absolutely trashed. Flipped tables, broken chairs, um, bits of splintered wood, knocked over statues where the arms have broken off. And you can see two uh, two paths. One to kind of the waiting room and one back through to where you knew the surgery was and the wards were. There was um, was in Mara's office. It was... So in Mara's office was through the surgery and kind of in the hospital itself there was a um, sort of like the A&E doctor's office to one side uh, that you'd seen when you'd first arrived there as well. Um, brother, we should probably go and check on and he built bolts towards the surgery and Okay. So I, can, I have to follow. I have to yeah. follow them. Can I? Can I, I? I don't follow, and I spend ten minutes ritual casting detect magic. Octavius is doing that. Like as you burst through the doors, you see the room that was filled with the um, that where previously there had been doctors who had disinfected you uh, with prestidigitation and their other magics. This time, no one. You push through the next set of double doors, and you see a heap of bodies black oil running everywhere mixed with blood just turning brown rather than black or red the stench of putrid flesh just hits your nose Um, and past that you see leaning against the wall exhausted some legionnaires and Ignis. <laughs> Did any of them have any burned eyeballs Ignis, by any chance? Um, <laughs> was this you? They weren't burned. And I'll kind of wading Bang, through the dead to, bodies. You know, pops through at yeah. this point, I imagine. And it, it's like chest high wall of bodies. I'll climb just, over them then. Yeah, it's just, it's thick. And you can see they kind of do rise up each other, real French Revolution like, as they bodies. Like an intentional have just, barricade, essentially, like of bodies. Or... Like they died where. They no, stood and they just kept piling up as they were dying in place. Gonna Much like the over. ending to the farm pavilions. <laughs> one of my first West End jobs. Oh. <laughs> who's that? Who's that for? I don't know. Anyone that I mean, is that? Name, it's for theatre. <laughs> is that a literal <laughs> representation of what happened that night? It, honestly, it was a literal. Re- <laughs> the end of the thing. We we're on a sorry to interrupt. We we're on a, re- a triple revolve and we're all running forward, being shot by the English, um, and getting piled up bodies 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 which was as you can imagine by the 50th 60th show a cause for all kinds of shenanigans to I go on as people was... died <laughs> from various orifices <laughs> oh the theater oh the I love theater. it it's so and just glam. like a theater an well, operating theater, theater oh, yeah oh that was you... good that was good yeah, was in good. game segue i in like game it segue. <laughs> yeah uh you see ignis look go I'm not gonna lie, this was getting pretty bloody hairy. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, this was you. Ah, uh, uh, we... we thought it was you. It was oh, you. no, I killed these guys. Yeah, no, I meant oh, like. Okay. The end of the plague. Yes, that was us. Yeah. I, think, um, I think maybe. You're welcome. You did? 
I, I we think... think so. Oh, bad oh, day. I, um, sorry, Faith, I didn't see you well, there. Body, uh, chest high bodies. <laughs> Come on up. Pulls laser up. <laughs> Faith, are you okay? Hi, hi. This is not uh, something that most people uh, ordinarily would see. Uh, if you are disturbed by anything you've seen today, we may have a discussion about it later on. Um, okay. Um, and I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, there's been a lot, um, but um, uh, Ignis, uh, are you, are you okay? I, I don't think I want to burn any out or eyeballs for a while. Really? I mean, there was a lot of them in this pile. I mean, like lots. I wanna, I wanna oh, yeah. go up to Ignis and I wanna grab him and I'm like. What have you done with Ignis? What have you done? What have you done with Ignis? <laughs> Who are you? Ripper, get you don't want to burn me. eyeballs. Who are you? Honestly, it's just this has been a little bit much. I, I said I would help you like find some information, and then I'm in an ancient temple, and then we're like fighting massive things, and then I come here and I got to kill a load of innocent people, and then the weird thing is they just stopped and all ran out the door. It's really, really weird. What? What, What's Ignis? the matter? Too much for you, Ignis? I'm not going to lie. I think I need a break. <laughs> Ignis, um, is 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 Inmara, uh, uh, here? Yeah, yeah, she's out back. I um, she looks quite tough, but she's not actually good at this kind of thing. She's much more like the savvy people. She got a bit, you know, judgy. You know, she, she's a, she's of, a doctor. Judgy. Um, speaking of savvy people, families on the third floor, I assume, were all right. Oh yeah, no, we held them here. They burst through. We fell back. I was like setting fire to people. <laughs> like these guys helped. I'm just gonna pan left to see the legionnaires just on, like broken armor, broken <laughs> spears, covered in blood. He's like, ah, my guys, you were pretty good, eh? I just look at but him with haunted helps, expressions. In Mara, we have um, we have need for her help now. There's as many people as there are dead in this room, alive outside, cured from the plague, in need of help. Well, pretty look. I got to say, guys, look at, we did really well. Look at us, what a team, eh? You know, maybe I mean, this I wasn't the, there for that bit, but you know. Maybe this isn't the time or the place for celebration. Uh, maybe not right now. I mean, it would, um, six it would be... We just lived through the night of the bloody cannibals. <laughs> right, this, this, this is the time to bloody celebrate. If there's ever a time, you know what I mean. In fact, hey guys, he turns over to Legionnaires. <laughs> any of you got any booze? <laughs> At this moment, Octavius walks through the door. I'm here to help. Uh, yeah, I, I, tell you I what. look around the room for the magical <laughs> <laughs> signatures. <laughs> There is no magic, <laughs> no, aside from is, the healing magic. We did can... need somebody to shut these doors so that the people who are well doesn't see what happened to the people who weren't well. You'll do very tough. well at that. Uh, uh, well, actually, we might need people to help clear the bodies. You see one of the oh, legionnaires. Yes, well, maybe up. we... Uh, oh, gosh, it's getting oh, late, I think Mara um, needs us, I think. You know, like, um, <laughs> we are very <laughs> tired. So, also, Ignis, I'm pretty sure I saw some medical grades... Um, Alcohol down the down the <laughs> you know, to sterilize. Maybe you want to drink a bit of that. Looks over his shoulder back I towards what, where Inmara was. Goes. Yeah. If you, well, if you pop, pop a little flame on it, right as well, it's it's even better. Oh, no more flame, not today. <laughs> um, Ignis, it's, it's lovely to see you. Um, but uh, is is Inmara close? Could we go and and, and talk to her? And, and One and floor up. We were trying to hold the line. We held the line. We're like we stopped them getting in. I did think we were gonna die, but like I say, they all just turned away and run off. So, you know, okay. that's, that's good. yeah, you guys go up. I'm gonna stay here with these guys. We're gonna get a drink, you know, have some fun. Okay. I'll be up in a bit, okay? okay. Um, and we carry on to see if we can find in Mara. Okay, you head up the stairs to the second floor, and then the third floor where it'd been a little bit more secure, and there you find the survivors less of them, more bandaged, more bloody. You see that, um soldiers that you'd seen the legionnaires the night before that had been on watch there are now only five still standing um the others are all in sick bays being kind of hastily patched up with dirty bandages that the very exhausted hospital mages are trying to clean in mara is there herself actually patching people up and casting spells and she looks up goes and we've returned uh, is it done Yes, 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 yes. We think so. Um, as far as we're aware, yes. Um, can I? Help? We're very sorry for all of the bodies downstairs. It is not pleasant to see innocent people slain. I... Or ordinary oh. either. It was it Ignis? Well, he uh, did what and, had to and be done. Guards as well. Su surprisingly, he didn't take all of the credit, which <laughs> either means 
it's he's changed, which let's be honest, Imara probably not happened, or something's possessed him. What have you done with Ignis? Not taking all the credits. That doesn't sound like him at all. I think maybe well, he you know feels I mean. different when it is the lives of innocents. I think he's uh, it's... he's not a monster. I think well, he's just tired. We'll, he'll he'll say it was all him tomorrow. I hope so. I don't think I could bear to lose his spark. Right. Well, th- thank you. It's I've got something to show you. Come with me. And she leads you back through to one of the wards where before you'd seen she'd been keeping the worst of the plague cases and you can see two of the mages still there holding their hands out and there is a magical force field in place uh, over the door she said early this morning not but a few hours ago they were screaming and thrashing and it's been quiet ever since so I went in and dropped the shields. And you see the major stop and this energy dissipates. She opens the door and you see a very similar sight to the one you'd seen outside. People on the floor, sickly, but the black falling off them. Smoke that had been coming out of their eyes dribbling down their cheeks, kind of mixed with tears. I think think they're back to themselves. Oh, um, okay. Is, is Celia here still? Celia? Oh, oh the, the woman you brought in. The reason we came, yeah. Um, she's not in this room. She might be in one of the others. Okay. You'll have to forgive me. It's been a long night. That's all right. Um, can I, I help? Um, and, uh, if there's, is there a, uh, if they got the same problem with the dirty bandages in this room or any assistance would be gratefully received we, we need to keep the clean we've tried healing uh, to no avail at this point I think they may just need time to recover whatever it is it seems to be more of a well, more of a possession rather than a disease um, downstairs there are 70 more people um, back to normal oh god <laughs> okay well they're very unwell. They're not back to normal unless the whole of this place was... Uh, um, yes, that, that was what the quote was <laughs> for. I okay. didn't see those. I wasn't facing you. Sorry. Um, That's all right. <laughs> um, but the face is going to start casting prestigitation. You can't cast it You can't cast it unless you can say it now. Right? I, I think that's. I think that's going to be my next character as a wizard that can never actually cast prestidigitation because I can't pronounce the spell. <laughs> no, I've got the. I've got the. The. the, the prestige and digital. Prestige digitation. Right. Prestige. That's how I remember. Prestige and digital. That's not going to help me. But anyway, thanks for trying. <laughs> um, anyway, she casts that on a uh, starts casting that on ban- on bandages. Um, okay. And, um, it, you certainly help. So, is, what's anyone else doing? You, I'm assuming you're spending a little bit of time just helping people at this stage. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to go yeah, and yeah. find the um, the priest, the high priestess, make, yeah. and help yeah. her with. Her if work. those dead bodies need to be got out. Yeah. Of the- Ice, six will move. Six is definitely going to move help. the dead bodies he'll, out. He'll, um, okay. I'll conjure my arms and I will okay. like. Octavius will out. be using his medicine and druid craft to help people. So we say over the course of the next kind of two to three hours as morning drifts on, you all put in a shift helping right the hospital. You see that there are less survivors than you may have hoped. It seems that these guy, uh, the crowd had forced their way in finally last night and overwhelmed the defenders. But luckily... Thanks to your swift defeat of the host of sins, it seems to have broken whatever hold it had on the people. Gradually over time, the crowd that are there start to be seen by the doctors that leave the hospital, as do hundreds more who start to bleed in from all over the city. And you recognise some of them as maybe once nobles, some of them as poor, some of them as some of the ragamuffins and you start to see survivors. About an hour later past that, you hear the sound of heavy boots on cobbles. Uncle and auntie? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, sorry, you said boots, not ooze. Sorry, my bad. The sound Octavius recognises. 
instantly. It's the approach of a large uh, armed force. Um, prepare to um, leave quickly, people. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get um, is is Lady Love about old old Faunus Maximus? Um, Maxine. Yeah, that'd be close enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Faunus you can... Maxine Maximus. You do find uh, Captain Maxine, and she is there with a broken arm uh, that had been shattered holding a shield and defending, and she's got it slung up, and she says, I, I do not need any healing, as one of the wizards says, oh, that's, we don't, tomorrow, but today we are too tight. No, take care of my men first, please. Uh, put, Maxine, put in a good word for us, would you? What? Oh. Can you not hear the... The, you know, the oh, old, shit. Uh, yes, I have not yeah. really put, noticed put, this. Put in a good word for us, yeah. I mean, if it's my brother, the then it's a good word. It's not going to work, is it? Well, maybe the knowledge that we saved Chanella or wherever the hell we are now, maybe that will uh, put a, in enough of a word to oh, save you. That's true. I forgot friend. about that. Chanella is the country. You are currently, you know, in a city called Cinderbane. Well, in theory, we did the save the entire Janela, to... so, uh, you know, I'm sort the of right. The plague was going to spread, <laughs> just so you know. I mean, if you say so, I'm, not, I'm more of a soldier than a surgeon. Mm. Um, Maxine, do you think that perhaps we could um, find a side room or something where we might not be discovered by these um, At this point, you hear like a uh, kind of trumpet blast that's not quite so pathetic as that. And... Uh, <laughs> It's far away. The tiniest far away. inch long bugle. You <laughs> <laughs> see, they've got like kazoos in the arm, <laughs> and uh, but really cheap plastic ones. And she goes, I do not think that will be a problem. Have I got one little bit of advice for you? Uh, be modest and be honest. Everything will go okay. Ripper, maybe okay, you shouldn't be, be the one, one to talk to. Uh, one of those. <laughs> I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the first one. <laughs> and uh, she goes quick follow me you should be here for this and in fact you see in Mara look up and go oh finally and even Ignis goes oh may always turn up eventually eh come on and all of you head out uh, into the forum by this point just crowded with people um, and slowly making way as you see a mass of troops coming from your position they're taking up almost the entire street marching 10 abreast they have got their shields out they have got pelums the spears at the ready um they are dressed in ordinary legionnaires clothes and octavius you can breathe a sigh of relief as you see out front very clearly displayed the griffin banner and which you know to be the legion of uh, Embervale, the region you are currently in. And as they approach, you see a figure emerge on a golden horseback. Golden you... horse, gosh. Golden horse. You see... He's Ellen's brother. <laughs> two more high-ranking military officials. This time their crest running left to right rather than back to front on their helmets. Um, and Octavius, you recognise the purple cloak, gold trimmed, of a legate who you know essentially to be in charge of a legion. As uh, So the entire lead, the head of the legion themselves arrives. In fact, you would recognise this figure being well versed in current military uh, protocol as Legate Amarind Thessaly, the head of the Griffin Legion. I've made a mistake. I've got my notepad out. <laughs> Christine's okay. making them. You're all good. I know, but like I can't read Christine's notebook from here, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it would be weird if you I could. don't. I, this Amarind Thessaly's first time he's been in my notebook, so I don't know if I'd be any help. <laughs> yeah, this, this is Captain Amarind Thessaly, and you know that she is a very well-respected, very seasoned officer. No one rises to be head of a legion without being some serious business. Um, you do also know that she's got a good reputation as being clean and fair and honourable. Um, obviously, you've had a bit of a rough time with some of the legions, but 
and you had met the old tribune of this legion who you'd been informed had died in the plague but you see Thessaly riding up and swings down confidently as she swings down the rest of you notice her kind of silvery almost fur running down the bottom half of her legs ending in hooves as she herself is a satire and as she pulls off her legate's helm you can see curling back underneath two goat's horns and as she jumps down she says ah well nick of time I see Uh, Inmara how the devil are you and she walks straight up to Inmara and says ah Legate it's a pleasure to see you again um what took you so long sorry a little bit of a hold up with some bandits but uh we got here so where am I needed I'm probably just rounding up sick people um taking the dead to be buried or burnt I don't know what the Chinalan custom is um you've arrived just as we've cured the plague <laughs> and six is still I think six is almost like there's there's a for him, this is he, something has happened. He's just is he's still clearing bodies. He doesn't want to greet the space. He's listening. He's paying attention, but he's still in okay. the background. Octavius is helping, trying not him. to be seen because he doesn't strictly know <laughs> that he's not still wanted by yeah, the government. Okay, so um, you like you say this, and Thessaly looks and goes, "Ah, cured the plague." In Mara, is this true? Um. Well, actually, Legget, yes, these people were instrumental in saving the city. Oh, bloody good show. Well done, you lot. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Now, most importantly, I'm assuming that old arse is dead, otherwise you wouldn't have sent for me. Um, yes, Tribune. May I, may I introduce you all to Maxine, the defender of the people of Cinderbane, the one true ear of which all could listen and rely on the heart of a lioness, the soul of a god. <laughs> right. And uh, Maxine just leans over and goes, uh, Ripper, it's Maxime with an M, not an N, but you know. Other than that, it was very nice. Thank you. And um, she kind of looks awkwardly there with her broken arm, tattered armor, sort of awkwardly trying to stand attention as uh, Thessaly says, no, 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 don't bother with any of that saluting nonsense. Can't be dealing with it. Maxime, Captain. Oh, yes, you're the adjutant to that asshole. Well, looks like you've done a bloody good job surviving. I mean, the walls are mostly still up and some people survived. So I'm going to chalk this up as a win. Right. Promotion. <coughs> you want to get that cough looked at? There's some doctors oh, yeah, here. That's quite I mean, yeah, there's a plane going around. Don't you know? <laughs> Two metres away, please. <laughs> um, and Max goes, oh, well, it was the least I could do, sir. He goes, ah, yes, well, um, you're the new Tribune, by the way, because, you know, anyone who can survive all this sort of nonsense needs that sort of thing. So you're in charge. Um, I'll help you get back up to running. I'll lend you a couple of detachments and uh, we'll see where we're going from there. Right, Inmara, best office and some brandy, please, and you can all catch me up to speed. <laughs> Maxime, or should I say Tribune, if you're with me. And uh, so nice to meet the rest of you. Have a lovely day. And she oh. kind of just strides past you grab Maxine on the way and I'm like you're welcome Maxine you owe me a favour now after obviously getting you that promotion so uh, thank it, you yes Rippy it was all of you not at all me holding the fort against you oh, and the no, lots of, and of, being of, an experienced military professional and the last ranking survivor no it was that little getting my name wrong yeah, in front you know of what the if you don't ask you don't get and I didn't hear you <laughs> rushing to say anything well, so you know time in the place it was a little bit awkward no no, well, but... that's when people are at their most likely to make a good decision. Look, you're a military leader, right? When your back's against the wall and you've got nothing left, you make the right call, right? So if you give it time, get someone else a little get talking in their ear. You know, snakes will come out of the ground. But right now, decisive action needed to be happened. You've got right a promotion. You're welcome. Right come Bang. Come Dead here. body. Six puts <laughs> in between them. 
You know, some people, uh, you know, are busy around here. Oh, he goes off six, the, pi the pile is over here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't don't throw it in the point. middle of the road there. <laughs> Thank you, corpse, for helping me make my point. <laughs> Maximus turns to Ripper and says, Ripper, come here. With her one good arm. He goes, lean down. She gives you a little kiss on the cheek and says, Thank you for trying. You were very sweet. Aww. And then just walks off. Uh, suddenly looks around. There's one of the other soldiers that's kind of the survivors of her troop giggles and she just gives him a shit-eyed look and he's like, <clears throat> wasn't me. He goes, <laughs> Damn right it wasn't. <laughs> and just walks back through, leaving all of you standing outside the hospital. Ignis sidles down and goes, Well, I was a little bit close, eh? None of us in prison. Might call that a win. Well, not yet. <laughs> Um, I'd like, not like to stay around too long and find out. Yeah, we're not going to get a reward, eh? What's, what do we got to be relying on? Oh, yes, after the reward, of course. Yeah, we're going to stay for a reward. Yeah. You guys go stay for a reward, yeah? But, uh, was there a reward? Ah, we'll get the reward. It was... Okay. It's like Ripper said, you don't save the whole bloody city and not get some reward, right? Um. Uh, yeah. Ain't no one in the palace, is there? Are you saying we loot? An imperial palace. No, I'm saying that they, for saving the plague, they gift us an imperial palace. Gosh, okay, now that's, that's fucking bad shit. No, I mean, people have got, uh, people hey, listen, have got gifts for less When your back's, that, when your back's you know? against the wall, yeah, the yeah. back's and he just tries to recycle that speech. <laughs> <laughs> no, too late. I've already heard that one. Right, well, I suggest we get some food or something whilst we wait. You know, I don't know about you, but it's been a long bloody few days. Uh, I think that trauma place is still open <laughs> <laughs> i knew oh, no. everyone was thinking avengers everyone <laughs> brad had to say it had to hang say on it. we did go and have that um nice dapas though didn't we yeah and there's it's a where the whole kale there's a there's the oh yes 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 <laughs> go and get some kale for sure there's a, there's a pie vendor across the way as well caught one in my mouth while he was trying it okay. that's right yeah. so for the sake of brevity we say that you guys disappear back to find the tapas place and find one of the little old ladies who'd owned it manages to cook you up a little something. It's not as glamorous as it had been before. It's a little yeah. bit stale. But all things considered... When it's not covered in black oil, so we're all okay. <laughs> it's a victory yeah. feast. And uh, Six goes, one more small plate, please. And he puts a uh, uh, plate down at an empty seat. Yeah. And um, she obliges with a strange look. Oh, of course, me lord. And then um, sidles off. That's her voice now. No, it's and uh, <laughs> after some time, you spend some time eating with Ignis. Unless there's any particular you'd like to discuss. Does this count as a long um, rest? I guess what. This is a short rest. You can have a short rest. So, um, what, what, what do we do now after we've eaten? I mean, well, I got to get back to Blinky. Oh, I think. Of course. Of course. Actually, our most pressing matter, I think, is to find my centre. Um, it seems to be involved in something around this. I mean, I mean he was looking around at the archives and shit, so I, I know I helped him. Well, I, I told him not to get in. I he keeps, he keeps popping up in everywhere that we go, his name, at yeah. least. Yeah, we, we, we don't really have a direction to go into yet, though. Um, but I, I mean, I, I'd love to find him, of course. Um, but Lax okay. like pushing his dinner around the table, and he says, "Um, i just wondering. Um, one of the places on our uh, on our journey, brother, we, we'd go to a port or something to go to. We could go to Wild Shore. I remember hearing that at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My well, mother talked about Wild Shore." Yeah. Oh, I've heard of Wild Shore. We have it on the map, and he gets out his old papers, and he's got lots of different papers all sort of mixed together in sort of like a map diary type yeah, thing. Let me have a look at that, on. and like, that kind of pulls the map really quickly before he gets to look at it. And um, and he goes, Wild Shore yes. is about yeah. there. <laughs> yes. <my> <laughs> drop. Uh, so nice. you can see, as you're looking in your map, you can see Wild Shore is in the Darkwood Expanse. The region which Gaius is currently in control of. Well, look. But it is on the border of it. I, I don't know if I remember Welsh, actually, brother. Let me see the. And then the, he's, he's bitten his finger. Inner time, he's bitten his finger a little bit <laughs> while he was pushing his food around, and he puts a quick red dot on the map. 
Look, it says here. Um, I think that's uh, wild too. Yeah, well, I was thinking um, wild something else, another thing. Wild, not wild mount, of course. Um, that's wild um, a some, different universe. Something else, but mother was talking about somewhere else. But but here it does say Look, wild. Look, it says shore. it here, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, 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 it does. Now, I've heard of wild shore because like two reasons. One, right, the coast is really overgrown, and two, they throw the best parties there. Ripper, I think you're taking the piss, but you're actually not joking. There's like a permanent carnival there. It's like this thing, it's always parties, it, I mean, it's a little bit mad. Do you know what? I actually drank too much there, and I never, you know, me, I never drink too much. I actually I got grab, a little bit I go over and I, and I grab, grab him again, <laughs> and I'm like, you drink so much? Why are you done with him? Who are you? You're not like this. Ripper, Ripper, mind the bruises. Oh, I'm only a wizard. My constitution is very low. Um, right, yes, and well, wild show. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not coming with you to Walshu. I've got to come back to get Blinky, so I could probably help you get up there. Um, I'd take you some of the way. You'll have to get the rest of the way themselves, but I got some research to do out over this shit. I kind of feel like the need for a library, like really deep in a building, surrounded okay, um, Well, just beds. to let you know that um, we set a fire in the library last time we were there. So... Okay. Well, specifically... Well, I, I, I made sure. Hey, it we won't say who. Good. I'm just. I'm not. Not naming it, it, any names. <laughs> it. It. It was. I think it was near any. Any. Any books. Was it? I, I think it was deliberate. Well, well, it's very difficult when you set a fire in a I library. A place the, full of. Uh, potentially... Of course, your reputation is. Yes. Ah. Uh, yes. That. That. You don't um, want to. There yeah, might be people that give you a funny eye when you go there. With an no insight check of eye. twenty-three, he looks around and goes. <laughs> Oh, you fucking bricks. You did something, didn't you? <laughs> I fucking know you did. I'd well, like to say... No, 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 of course not. No, no, hang to on. To be fair, you were the one who gave us a robe and told us to pretend to be you. Yes, in hindsight, now knowing you a little better, I can see why that was a fucking shit idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 you know, of course, of course, of course. The brothers but... are just looking at the map, like, studiously. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm eating, I'm eating like this. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> New oh, plan. this food is delicious, yeah, oh, very good, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I come get Blinky, and we just fucking move somewhere else, like, just start <laughs> this shit again. You could start your own library. It's a lower, my own tower. I mean, I've got the tower on Blinky. You don't need a tower, you've got a portable No, tower. only evil people live in towers like that, you'll turn into an evil. Ah, uh, totally, that's propaganda, Six, don't believe that's all that anti-magic <laughs> shit, no, none of that. Like, tower's <laughs> fucking great, you can see for miles, you can just wee off the top, and no one even knows. Is it rain, <laughs> is it just... The <laughs> legend of the, the moving tower sounds pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ah, if, um, yeah. Well, I've got that on Blinky, you know, it's really... Oh, I know, but if, if, he's, if you make him visible, so that people know that you've got a moving... Tower. I think we're gonna talk to my bloody giant tortoise. It's like uh, bullshit. To be, be fair, him. to be fair, if like the conversations that him and Treacle were having, he seems pretty horny. I mean, I'd, he's quite a randy tortoise. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They're supposed to be quite calm. He's quite a randy tortoise. <laughs> I have no idea where he gets it from. I wonder. I wonder if. if I, I hope this isn't too much of a, a distraction from from urinating off the top of towers. But um, is wasn't there? Razor, a, please, we're eating. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't wasn't there a, the merchant who who originally got the shard or or, or something similar wasn't he oh there's that the house we got to go to to check oh out the was, minotaur wasn't he well, well yeah was it uh darius ventis i think mm. and, and wasn't he what, wasn't he a that. patient <laughs> while, while you're chatting away about peeing off toad i was like oh. uh yeah so is is i wonder i got no idea about it. that I wonder if he's still in hospital. Um, maybe we could. Did, wasn't he the one that he... started to explode when we left? Um, uh, did he? Was it? No, one? I think it. No, well, I mean I don't know. I'm <laughs> this. Uh, but above the table, no, it was someone who just ran in off the street who had right. started to explode. Um, so Ignis will turn and say, "Well, you got to ask Inmar some stuff. Find some minotaur who maybe exploded, maybe didn't explode." I got to get a lot of reward, and apparently, looks really pointedly at Octavius. Move and start my entire life again. Uh, <laughs> so no, your your reputation is intact, remember? <laughs> mm. Yeah, if nice. anything, it was Seed that did all of the damaging to your uh, reputation, you know, and and then then she saved your life. So I would say yeah. it's you know. It's, Six. Uh... We were trying to keep it a secret. 
Oh, if there was any damage, I mean, which of course I'm not admitting that there is. Okay, I think I'm going to go to Elder Spire, because in the capital they got loads of towers. If one of them falls over, like, you know, there's seven more that day. So, I'm going to get Blinky and head back to the capital. Uh, if nothing else, i got a really if big we, library. Uh, need to get in contact with you, have you got a, a stone hanging around? Yes, of course. Can we get you up on the dragon? He reaches down, picks up a stone and just gives you a stone. He's <laughs> such a dick. <laughs> It's a magic stone. All you got to do is say, hey, Ignis. I, I, I will literally come over this table at you, right? I still don't think you're do the that. real Ignis. Don't do that. Yeah? So, <laughs> give, me, give, me a, give me a dragon, right? Give me a dragon number, and then if we need you, I'll be getting contact with you. Oh, you got me, Rippy, you got me. He just writes down a load of numbers on a piece of paper and gives it to you. Here you go, it's my <laughs> dragon number. Hey, hey, you get it? No, <laughs> he was wasted on this guy. You know, um, I don't know. I didn't want to bring this up now, but uh, we're, having, we're having a good time. I think we deserve, uh, maybe not now. There's just the uh, alcohol talking or whatever she's serving us on the side. But um, pickled grape juice. The pickled it's like vinegar. Grape juice. <laughs> um, you know, I think um, I think there will come a time where very soon where I will want to talk to everybody about uh, seed. Um, I, I hope it doesn't make you uncomfortable to, to mention it now. I don't want to talk about it now. It's okay. But at some point I will want to talk about it. Maybe, um, you know, sometimes it's good to uh, put all your things in a box and then you close the box and you put the box in the ground and you cover the box over with dirt. And then you never go back to the box. I mean, that's uh, how I you, normally that's just how you to the box. bury a body, isn't it? Is, are you just talking about burying a body? Yeah, yeah or whatever you guys do down in Janela, I don't know. If you're going to um, do the whole touchy feely feelings things, I might go before then, because, you know, like, ah, 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 you know, not my thing. Like, I get yeah, it. Yeah, no, she only saved sad. your life and everything. Uh, they only saved your life and everything, you know. But I barely knew them. It's really not a problem to me. <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know, obviously deeply traumatized, but, you know, that's because I'm such an emotional guy. Oh, and... I see it in you. <laughs> you burned down my fucking books. <laughs> no, 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 this was not me. No, no. I believe it was one of the um, Praetorian God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard one yeah, of them yeah, say, yeah. oh, I'm going to burn all of these books. Burn these books, burn these books down. That yeah, really pissed yeah, Ignis yeah, off. Yeah. And I tell you what else we'll do. Yeah, yeah, we'll ruin happens. his reputation yeah. when we're around. But, but, it. but yeah. your reputation is intact, though. So we didn't let them do that. But, you know, they well, the while we were there, who knows? No, what we they defeated done them all, didn't we? He, he kind of downs the, the rest of the great vinegar wine. But Santa goes, You guys are pricks, but I like you. <laughs> we're your pricks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't like the sound of that, like, but you know, <laughs> we're friends and that's something, eh? Well, should we go get the fucking reward? Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. You can do all the talking. <laughs> something positive would be nice, yes. He flicks a couple of gold on the table and says, Lunch is on me, let's go. And uh, you head back to the hospital in just as uh, Maxime is there getting fitted for some new armor. Uh, She's not going to get her segmentata today, but you can already see a new helmet with a sideways plume on it. And uh, she goes, Ah, oh, hello. You are all you in, the, uh, in Mara's office. Please go in. And remember, modesty. Honesty. Got it. Got it. Yeah, oh. got it. <laughs> Modesty, I am already closed. <laughs> oh, Octavius. And uh, are you walking into the office then? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. As you walk into Inmara's office, you see the similar layout for kind of table scattered with medical goods, kind of white walls. Um, sat in Inmara's chair, or rather lounging in Inmara's chair, is... Uh, Legate Thessaly herself. He goes, ah, you're back. Marvellous. Well, I've rather been, Inmara's here has been filling me in. And you look over to see a very vexed looking Inmara. Yes, I've informed the Legate of all that you've done. Uh, yes, Inmara, I was actually talking there, old girl, but you know, it's fine. So I've heard that you've done rather a lot of work for us, and that's marvellous. And I rather think that some kind of reward would, is in order. Couldn't agree more. And Ignis goes, hey, uh, I told you, eh? Nudging uh, Octavius. And then sees yes, his nudge yes, Octavius and looks at him, scowls. 
just moves away a bit. And uh, Thessaly says, yes, well, obviously we've got a few thousand dead, which means they're not going to want their money. So here you go. And just like whacks down a massive sack. She says, should be, you know, around 10,000 in there for your troubles. Um, that'll, you know, see you through quite a while. Um, are you um, sure they families or don't need this? Or? Yeah, we oh, would... No, they're perfectly dead. They're not going to need it at all. <laughs> ah. um, and we've got about much more of it. Rebuilding the the city. My brother and I, we're, we're very humble. We have we have need for nothing. Um, we would gladly allow our rewards to go to oh, perhaps oh. Imara or I mean, others. My brother could... speaks for the both of us, which is very kind of him. <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> uh... that's, 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 she... that's, that's... But oh. I think the party... We see we lost um we lost two sets of horses now and garages um and we lost a person um yeah. one of our party and that I I think um maybe if we don't use it brother we could at least use it for our fallen comrade um and maybe their family when we find them. Well, do we what information do we have about Seed's family? The... Maybe well, that's something to discuss was... when we get out of the city. I'd I'd like to know. Well, Hawthorne Hawthorne Steel was was important to her, and he he was last seen with my centre. So, it, maybe we can find out more from him. Okay. I've got to be honest. I'm not really interested in you gabbing in front of me. I, I was actually in the middle of talking. Quite rude. But never mind. So, next up, reward. We all happy with that? Yes. Oh, money. Oh, thank, good. Thank you. Marvelous. Thank you. Next up. Gold. Next up. Um. For helping the people, that I mean, it's rather good of you. I've got a little other reward now. Inmara here has been filling me in on your little problems with Gaius. I mean, I don't like to beat around the bush, but he is a total prick. So, Agreed. Um, yes, well, Octavius, yeah, yeah, lovely too. Served with your mother, you know. Wonderful woman, terrible breath. So, the <laughs> thing that um, we're working on. Thank you. Is... I've never seen anyone brush their teeth in Chinella. I'm sorry. No, Chinellas have bad teeth. That's what they say, isn't it? You know, mm. brother? Well, that's what we've yeah, heard I'm anyway. I'm offended yeah. right now. Well, let's have a look but at I mean, your no, teeth. I thought you were You'd be less offended if you didn't smile with that wookie crooked teeth. I'm there. not <laughs> going to smile for you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to say is that for saving the city, as well as the gold, because, you know, money comes, goes, doesn't it? So easy for you adventuring sorts. But I've actually got something a little bit more substantial. Obviously, right now, the place is an utter shithole. But I would like to make you all friends of Embervale. This is a great honour. It means you are welcome here. I know Gaius is kind of running up some sort of nonsense against you, but if I'm honest, I want to stop that pillock before we can get control of the Senate. We can't go having the Republic fall into the hands of that young brash brigand. So the more of your sort standing up against him, the better, as far as I say. And if that means, you know, making you friends and putting my neck on the line, well, no one's killed me yet. Well, we're very honoured. Can you please, if you may, uh, you have the time, explain to us what that would entail, being a friend? Uh, oh, well, it basically means that your souls belong to me. I'm only ah, kidding. Ah, you've got the <laughs> good sense of humor. I knew I liked you. Yeah. Yes, no, it essentially means that you are welcome in all our cities. Uh, it doesn't mean the guards will tie a blind eye or the legion if you go start committing all kind of awful crimes, but it does mean that you are welcome to stay at the palace. I mean, obviously, once we've rebuilt the damn thing, but uh, mm. when you stay there, there will be a room there for you. Not permanently so we have guest quarters but you'll be welcome to stay in the guest quarters whenever you uh, are here um Do we get a badge we can, um, or something or a little badge um, or writ to say that this is true right we did no badge you know, oh, the adjutant okay. that you see that's kind of awkwardly at the uh tribune side and goes, oh, there's a Oh, there is a badge. <laughs> I didn't know there's a badge. Okay, well, I guess you are going to get a badge then at some point. Excellent, lovely. Good, well, marvellous. Now. Does this mean we can uh, travel on the roads without having to... Uh, to... Well, around Embervale, at least, yes. Okay, well, that's, that's at least good. I'm Stumping. sick of trudging through them bushes. Well, yes, I was, uh, I was thinking about this. So, this old plague thing that seems to be cropping up seems to be a bit of a problem. Now, obviously, you've cracked it here, but Inmara's telling me that it was something to do with some ancient ruins. 
Mm. Multiple of them, yes. Multiple. Multiple. Interesting. Haven't quite worked out exactly what yet. You know, I saw some ruins once. Really old. I mean, one's almost like the Blighted Waste. Obviously, none of us have gone too far, and that's bloody death trap. But when I was serving 25 years ago, oh yes, north of the border. Wonderful it was. Great skirmish. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, blood lost. Um, there was huge temple there. Well, I say temple, ruin, really. And uh, quite pretty, quite similar to the ones down here. You might try finding some answers up there, you know. There might be something up there, maybe another plague, the northerners or something. Although I suppose you should let them all die, really, as we're basically at war with them. They're not actually yet. But something in me, you know, I would like to say it. They were very friendly up there. Maybe you should go and have a look. What can you tell us about the northerners? We're very interested in that part of the world. Yeah, I guess because if, if you hate the northerners here, um, we're from Indiri and you're the northerners to the Indirians, what does that mean? I mean, it's double, just how double hate works, young we man. Hate... Well, I don't think it's to do with hatred. I think it's our different political aims. You know what the top brass are like and governments and politicians, just different ways of life. I'm sure we'll get over it. When I was there, they were perfectly hospitable. I mean, those were better days, if I'm honest. We, I mean, we'd skirmish and kill each other, of course, but it was never personal. It was always, you know, just high spirits in the summer. Oh, wonderful. Um, I would ba recommend... These badges no, 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 you're talking blood about. Back again. These Come badges. Back. Uh... Yes, yes, yes. Adjutant, go get them. And you see uh, the junior officer at her side just kind of scurry out. Goes, oh, she's back. Right, yes. Well, what was I saying? Giant, ruin, Nurmengard. Yes, people up there are um, well, very different. Very different. Quite nice. Obviously, I'm not supposed to say that, so don't tell anyone else. But it seemed quite reasonable, really. Now, the thing you want to do if uh, you're trying to get in touch with all their ruins is they don't like, have them like we do, just deserted in the middle of nowhere. Their ruins tend to be quite sacred spaces, part of their religion and spiritual beliefs. So you'll probably have to talk to like one of their conclaves or their druids or something like that up there. Um, I didn't really get as far as Bildsfeld, which is where they say all their druids live. But you might try gaining the friendship of some of them and you know never know what will happen you might find some answers i mean you might not but it's something to do isn't it do you have any information on their army or perhaps uh, other forces that they may have in case we uh, come yeah, across they don't have an army not like us roads or no no of course not like yours but what about if we come across their um, equivalents of the legionnaires uh, or, or guards on the no, road no no they're all just sort of we kind of band together in some sort of tribal cell. So it's only really when the entire village agrees to fight with another village they've actually got anything to fight with. And they didn't really have a sort of a central government or anything. I mean, one hesitates to use the word backwards because it makes one seem uneducated. But they are not like us. Could I, uh... I should think that would well, be actually, good, eh, DM, brother? Would, would Octavius know like roughly where Buildspell is? You would know that Buildspell is um, kind of halfway up Njermengart, so you never got that far. You would know from your time that it's the uh, cities in Njermengart are not cities in the way that you are used to, centres of civilization. They are almost kind of like uh, tribal locations. So Buildspell is the habitat of the Druids specifically um, and is considered one of their spiritual centres. You would also know, he says checking his notes, because obviously you have done a little bit of scouting up there which helps you, that um, it is, yeah, the seat of Mason Buildspell and uh, you would need you can't just walk get there and walk in it is a place that they kind of consider guarded by mysticism and only they take kind of people that are quite close to them up there um the legate kind of turns and goes well now i would say that you know i'd send some men to escort you but it would mean going through uh darkwood and you don't really want to go through the expanse right now i mean you could go the other way around back around elder home but you it would take you weeks oh, i'm quite Keen to go through the. We could follow the river, couldn't we? Yeah, maybe. Up by Wild Shore. Yes. Yeah, party that's town. A good, I, I just, that's interesting you mentioned that place. Maybe we could head there first. Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, you could always. Oh, and one little snag, snagu. I wouldn't recommend going overland, you see. Because obviously we've got the Legionnaires, conflicts, things are tense. 
uh, all sorts of accidents on the front line. But, I don't know, you really shouldn't say this, you might be able to find someone at Wildraw who could, um, sail you round. Oh, you know, um, as a gift for those that prevented the plague from affecting this part of the world, a boat would be fantastic, you know? Uh, uh, and to... Sixsmith, if I had a bloody boat, I would give you one. But look at us, landlocked. Do you <laughs> think someone in Deepwood might be able to give us a boat or purchase one? Well, you've still got a little problem that guys, guys would quite like to string you up, so I'd probably not advertise yourselves too loudly there. But, um, you know, yeah, that's your problem. River. Maybe we could go down to the river and see if there's anyone sailing down the river. That's not a bad idea. No, you do. Could do. Jump on a boat with them. As much as I'd love to chat logistics with you, I've got an entire city to rebuild and bandits to weed out, don't you know? Ah, right, yes, here's Mariana with your uh, badges. And uh, the adjutant comes in and gives you all tiny little um, bronze representations of the griffin. Uh, thank you. When I when I get it, I will just just briefly approach, just quite just sort of not quietly in a surreptitious way, but just just not to take up anyone else's time. Just say to the um, the, the adjutant, uh, these badges, the. Uh, if we brandish them in certain places, as are there any uh, forces hostile towards the Griffin Legion? If is this a call to some kind of enemy? Just just so that we know I mean, when to use it. It's more of a ceremonial thing than anything. Uh, I mean, you're clearly not with the Griffin Legion, and no one's going to attack the Legionnaires unless there's you know a civil war. But that's not going to happen. That hasn't happened in you know at least seventy five years. Cut to. Oh. By the way, <laughs> in in Ashfall, there's a pub, like called like the the like Seven Daggers or something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, that's where the Brotherhood of Ashfall run out of. So you might want to ransack it. <laughs> Faze, you tell him you 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 Faze, tell him what the name of that pub was. But uh, yeah, that's where the leader of the bandit gangs in here are. So you might want to just burn it down. Oh, I mean, I think we had enough burning for now, but we'll go in there and see what we can find. Sounds like a good job, doesn't it, folks? I go a bit of a, you know, CI, I think some people call them. Confidential informants uh, for you there. Little public helping. So at this point, um, Inmara stands and says, uh, Yes, well, if you will excuse me, this all sounds perfectly bloodthirsty, but I've got patience to see. I thank you for everything you've done. If you ever come back here, you'll have a friend in me. And as strange as he is, Ignis as well. Just keep doing good in the world. Can we Can we also right. have got a couple of horses off of Lady Love as a reward? Just because otherwise I think travelling would be a bit fun. So as you kind of mention this, it's kind of as his, Ignis is walking and going, where are you guys gone? He hears you say horses. He goes, horses, where you're going, we don't need horses. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I've got a bull, so that makes sense. Um, <laughs> and on that note, we're going to go to break. Of course yeah, you are. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> that's <be> the cut. <laughs> Coming out the other end. <laughs> Fantastic. I've just managed to nearly knock over my light shade above me. So, uh, hey, folks, you did good. we'll see you we in, in 10 in? minutes. Oh, we're still well, in. A bit less than that. <laughs> Bye.
Such an unnecessarily Hello, um, long cool back. down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It gave me time to look for the sound I need. My, so my computer's been I'll, I'll so, count down from 15 next time. <laughs> thanks. Uh, it's still not loading. Thank you. Uh, so what do you want to do? You're currently standing there with um, Ignis just outside in Mara's office. He's just given you a cheesy line that's not from Back to the Future because it doesn't exist in this world. <laughs> And you have your time is your own. Well, what does what does that mean? Like we're not gonna. Does that mean you're gonna portal us there? Yeah, I mean that's it. I got to give us back the blinky, so I was just gonna like you know take us back, and then from there on in, you're on your own. What is in like to Wild? You're gonna port us to Wildshore? I'm not going to fucking Wildshore. I'm going back to Blinky. Didn't Blinky take us to Wildshore? No, I'm not taking Blinky to Wildshore. We're not singing Dogwood. We're getting the shit out of Dodge. Motherfuckers, I mean, I'm going to bring you to like to the, to 500 else? miles in a click of my finger. Like, it's pretty fucking cool magic. I don't think you're being really appreciative. Yeah, but like, I don't understand where you're taking us. Just like the middle of nowhere, man. Like, where the Blinky is. And then it's like, pff, some time to wild show. Sure. You'll get there. It's all good. It'll save you like two weeks on foot. It depends okay, where fine. Blinky is. He might have wandered. 
I mean, sure, but you know, he's probably humping a tree or something. I think I said he can get quite randy sometimes. True. Yeah. Don't blame him. So, above the table, <laughs> where do mm. we want to go? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. So, what are our options? So your options are essentially you've been given information. Well, your options are you can go anywhere you like in the whole world, do what you like. Um, you are let's try and do it like this. You are currently mm -hmm. here in mm -hmm. Cinderbane at the southern edge of Chinella. Uh, as I point at my background screen, anyone on the <laughs> podcast, sorry. Um, I feel this... like we're in one of those. Uh, oh, I'll I'll weather. audio describe it for you guys. You know the old the old weather with the green screen. <laughs> yeah, well, it literally is <laughs> a green screen, yeah, isn't it? Anyway. So there's a since pointing at the south of the map. <laughs> Before you had gone here yes, to Shade Mantle. North to Shade Mantle. At the centre of the map. And then you had travelled this way down the river to somewhere around here mm -hmm. to find the temple where you had ended up then being transported back down to here. Uh so essentially Wildshore is over here ish. Mm -hmm. Johnny and on the... to the west of the map. Yeah, to the west coast. And you mm. are being, oh, this is hard to do with us, being instructed to go around here, mm. right up into the middle of... Oh, well, that, yeah, that's off quite screen. high up. Literally yes. off screen. So that would be right. where Build Spell is. But just all of this north of this wavy line here is Newman Gart. So you've kind of been told there is stuff to do up there. You know, my centre mm. went up there. Um, Lack has his own reasons for heading to Wildshaw. Uh, there are, and you've just been told if there are other ruins up in Wildshaw. So that's one direction you could go. You do also know, essentially, though, this entire part of the country um, is marked as the Darkwood Expanse, that entire state or region. Because if you think of the Republic a little bit like the Roman Empire, it's not just Rome in it. It was like Gaul and Rome. So the mm -hmm. countries that make up the Chanel Republic, there's actually six or seven different countries, the Darkwood Expanse being kind of the largest area uh, or one of the larger areas. So that is essentially under the control of Gaius. So we're encouraged not to go through there. We're encouraged to get a boat maybe around Wildshore and maybe well, take the boat up if possible. If you were to do what you did before, you would walk, you kind of have to walk this way to a crossroads, kind of west, and then head north to get there because you had to get around some stuff. Uh, so if you did that, you'd then have to head north again and then go through th this entire region, which is currently all the front line where the battles are happening and things are a little bit tough to get through. Um, or... Um, Ignis could teleport you straight back to kind of where you were over there, bypassing most of that. And then you've instructed that you might be able to get a smuggler's boat from here that could just take you north and I might mean, get you up there. What's what's our so what's our goal? Are we gonna look for my centre or are we going to the temple? Well, so we if we're heading both. to Wild Shore anyway to get both. a boat, I yeah. think we can do oh, that. It, can't it, we? Well yeah, that's true. But it does depend if my centre is gone to Nürmengart or not. Mm. Is that the last we'd heard that my centre was going mm. up there? Mm. Yeah. Oh, right. Then that's and okay. It feels then. like, yeah, going to Wildshaw and getting yeah. a boat up might be the way forward. I think so. Yeah. So okay. it's like Styx is sort of thinking, I guess, he's thinking, um, I want to know more about Seed. Because if you remember, he, he, I think he, I think maybe everybody did, but for him, it was, it was quite significant to clock Seed the what he looked like before he left her so he's very curious them. i think at the moment them thank you Sorry. um no no no. i appreciate that yeah. um it's because i think of becky right i know it's because i do it all the time yeah yeah, yeah. so i pre no and i do appreciate that being oh. corrected absolutely um so what but but because lack has um sort of tricked him into thinking that Wildshaw is where his mother wants him to go he'll, he'll we... definitely head there he'll definitely head there first <laughs> and right like, listen 24-hour carnival Ripper's Ripper's already packed. Ripper's heading mm. to Wild Shore. That's already oiled says, up. Yeah, and Xavius just wants to get uh, out of Gaius's sphere of influence. I think now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I, th I think that's it then, isn't it? Really, we you could mess it. some sh mess some stuff up for Gaius on the way through, though, couldn't we? Yeah. As we go through his little domain, we could mess some stuff up. Yeah, yeah but I don't know if we'll we be. Could. I don't know if we're that kind of people. Though. I don't know if we're army ready. I know, like we've been in the army, but I don't know if we're sort of ready to. to no, I mean, be on like little bits of sabotage and stuff like that on the way through. Sow the seeds of dissent. I see. So we could do that from our way from. Yeah. As we where go Ignis towards... puts us to Wildshaw, yeah. couldn't we? Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. What, um, do, do we want to do anything else in Cinderbane? Because there's also 
because there's potentially if if we go find Darius Fenton because he's the mm-hmm. one who got the original artifact, wasn't he? The shard, and he got we that. I think from, so. Yeah. From from some... from a like there was there was some kind of I don't know if it's an archaeologist or something like that had taken the artifact or found the artifact apparently in the blighted base. So that might answer. Mm-hmm. And some there was that mirror, wasn't there? That give us more questions. Yes. The mirror that glitched us all, wasn't there? And the room, yeah. well, the room glitched, didn't it? Yeah. So he might. Oh, if, yeah, if, yeah, he, yeah. if he's still about, because um, he might have. Uh, Darius, is Darius Ventus the the seeds connection? No. no, Darius no. Ventus is that Minotaur merchant. Oh yeah. <laughs> who we went to his house. Um, and there was a secret uh, cellar trap thing as well. Yeah, full of meat and cheese. It, it was the first time we well, there was ever any. Glitching. It was the origin of the shard, as far as we yeah. know. It was. It was the first time there was any. A good talk, speak there. with animals was happened there, didn't it? If I remember. Yes. Yeah, with a mouse. <laughs> 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 Remembered fondly. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I don't know if he's about. I, it might be. There might be nothing. He I think it's worth while we're here. Yeah. Chasing mm. that down, isn't it? And for the sake of helping you remember everything that happened i would also remind you that the criminal underworld here had offered you a reward if you could steal some of inmara's journals oh, and return yeah. them oh god thanks for the reminder man yeah, yeah octavius is not up for that that's sort the of ash thing. boys though isn't it yeah who the ash ripper boys. hates and they so. stole our uh our donkey well, they and, ate and our fed donkeys. them to us <laughs> yeah that, that was never proven <laughs> Um, but yeah, they were the We've ones also, that popped on like, my sister's message, weren't they? When we get to Wildshore, we could also speak about speak to the garden, right? See if anyone in the garden is in Wildshore, and then was they the could... garden shade shade mantle. Yeah, but they're the all over the place. We found them here. We found yeah, them they were in oh, Miss yeah. Grave and shade mantle. So, can we fake the journals? That's the thing. Can we? Can can? Does anyone have a good? Do we want to? Do we want to pursue that path? But faking the journals, get, getting the reward well, from them. To be and fair, I did, I did tell the woman where to find their hideout. So, As in... oh, so we can play both sides. That's all good. Well, they might all be dead. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, at this point, in I would Paragon say and renegade points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you, yeah. Does someone have the ability to actually uh, have proficiency in? Uh, oh god, it's not called scribing in five E. It's um, called pointing at fake. Uh, now, but I, I forgery. Want Forgery, I've yeah. got yeah. I've got right tools for the job, so I can make a forgery kit. You can make a forgery kit, but you, unless but you're proficient in forgery, mm, no. herbalism. I mean, you can still use it for me. Uh, so yeah, you can certainly try. I would say if you're trying to <gasps> forgery kit, boom. Oh no, that's my they're just my tools. Oh, I have I have a forgery kit. Don't worry you have about a forgery it. kit. Uh, you can certainly attempt it. Might be you might be proficient in your forgery kit if it's on your. Is it oh, in proficiencies done. and languages? Yeah. Then you're I, I don't have tool expertise. Cool. What does tool expertise do? Hang on a second. I'm going to remind myself. I'm not used yeah, it. Yeah, calligrapher supplies, disguise kit, and forgery kit. So, I mean, I I think six wouldn't actually be like, let's pursue this path because there's nothing to gain. It, it, a part, in a video game, you'd be like, yeah, I'll take that bloody reward and then reload it if it was rubbish. But in this six wouldn't just do it for the sake of seeing what they had in in store for him. So mm-hmm. I've got you know. I've got I've got tool expertise, and it says your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check you make that uses your proficiency with a tool. So if I was to forge, would it, it double my proficiency? So bonus? this is where is rules that... is written and rules is intended sort of rub up, because I would say okay. that as an artifice, obviously, if it's building and tinkering and making. Doesn't matter if it's plumbing, electricity, or carpentry, you're bloody mm-hmm. good at it. Mm. When it comes down to the fine mechanics of writing, imitating someone else's style of writing, and making something appear as convincing as a written document, um, so I can, I can fit a bathroom, but I can't forge my dad's will. Um, <laughs> I feel no, like this okay. is some off stream conversation. Yeah. Imara, in. <laughs> Imara has just said that she would help us and be welcome us and stuff like that. If we include Inmara into this and said it's to, to go and look for more plague things, would she be up for altering a journal or like even if it's just a few few? That's symbols? not a bad idea to ask someone else. Yeah. Yeah. So it yeah. is. So it is. Uh, it is officially one of those journals, but she's not giving anything. It's all false like, information. Yeah, or an old journal that's that's, that's irrelevant. A, a, a false like, flag yeah. operation is that already? Well, <laughs> you know, I, so it's not forgery, is it? Because she's she's still writing it herself. But... Good call. We can ask her. Yeah, definitely. That's a good idea. Let's ask her. Then let's go to the Minotaur's house. 
Um, speak, and then I'll see if we can find a minotaur. So my yeah. he might. Speaking of flags, by the way, I like the red flag that the legato is not going to die. No one's going for a life. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe that's just what she's she's, saying. Maybe she, she said. Have yeah, she said, "I'm not going to die any time soon." I thought, "Red flag." <laughs> <laughs> like, Here's a picture of my hearing? two children. Yeah, I'm glad I'm never going to die. Ah. Yeah. After yeah. the war, I'm going to be a pa- piano player. Life, lots of this left. Thank God. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's a, that's cool. If we go to the hospital. Again, because we're we're out in another thing, aren't we? We can see if Darius Ventus is there. We can see if in um if Imar is up for doing this for the journal, and then we can go from there. Mm. Yeah? And it might be cool to just before we set off have a, one last sort of cup of tea because he's going to bamf us to his turtle, right, to his tortoise. So like <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a nice place we can maybe say our goodbyes to Ignis there, have our yeah. last sort of cup of tea, and then yeah. head maybe off have a long him. rest or something, and then yeah, yeah, we're, we're all charged yeah. up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And head off, maybe. Yeah, let's do that then. Cool. Cool. All right. Good chat. Back in the moment, you are here <laughs> with Ignis. Mara. Oh, hey. Hey, Ignis. Excellent. And here's what we're going to do. What do you reckon? <laughs> Good plan. You go talk to Inmara. I'm going to go uh, fire up the teleport. Come get me when you're ready. I'm probably going to need to little sit down before I'm uh, ready to do that shit. I did hold a little bit back last night. I'm not going to like it, just in case I needed to escape in an instant. I mean, I don't, I'm not that kind of guy, but. I could have been. Why? Oh, no, actually, no, no, wait, yeah, hold on. No yeah, one knows who we really are until we get to that moment. <laughs> I know, I know, oh, it's like, profound. I've never burned out as many eyes in one go as that, and I was just, it wasn't satisfying. Hey, Octavius, where's that kind of insight when we were talking about if cannibals are humans or not, you know? like I, That's what I just said. I said the cannibals were not, were humans, and undead were not. I mean, Orcs. I'm gonna miss these conversations. <laughs> it's a, it's a corpse <laughs> right, let's let's have a look for let's have a look for Ventus. Okay. What would you like? So make me an oh, investigation check. Yeah, yeah. If you're looking for Ventus. Investigation, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 19 oh, flat. I got a 14. Okay. So 19 will probably do it, unless I'm just getting higher. Uh, Ripper then gets the joy of going around chatting to a few of the male nurses and the female yeah, doctors. Got like you know, and maybe, maybe they go that way. I don't. Really you know. are uh, directed to one of the very crowded wards, where there are several patients. The doctor he say, "Yes, these were some of the patients who've been here a little bit longer. They're um, they're very weak. So please be quick." Mm. Of, uh, of course, of course. Um, Lack, can you? Can you? And I bring Lack up. Of course, yes. And I'm gonna just tap my spear on the ground. Well, I what is Darius there? So you look in and you make a perception check. See what you see first, or rather, mm. who you see first. Twenty-two. Okay, as you look in, you do see a hulking form of a minotaur lying on one side, breathing very ragged. You also see a half orc in the bed opposite. Oh, that was. Oh, that's. Yeah. Uh, what's so, her yeah. name, innit? Yeah, the, the lady from. Um... Redwater? Is that it? Redwater. Oh, yeah. well yes. done, Chris. Didn't even look that up, did you see? <laughs> Smashed it. Um, okay, cool. Um, so, uh, Phase is going to go up to Celia first because. Okay. The whole reason they came here, I think. I'm and... gonna just in in this room. Yep. I'm just gonna just tap my staff on the ground, and uh, use its ability to cast Zone of Truth. Ooh. So everybody who wishes to uh, be under the influence of it, like wants to resist against the influence of it, must roll a Charisma saving check of 15. Oh, are we all in it? Well, like, it's a 60 foot radius. Okay. So I imagine. God, okay. Would you know if we fa- How does it work? Would you know if we failed it or if we tried it, for example? How did, like, is that, what's the sort of ruling on that? Octavius if they pass fails. the check, you don't know. If they fail, then I have to tell you. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I failed because I, I think failed. Six just thinks he, he wants to decide. But if you fail, <laughs> you absolutely have to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. No, an affected creature isn't aware that aware of the spell mm -hmm. and can thus avoid answering questions in such a way that would normally respond as a lie. But anything you do say must be true. Yeah, you cannot. Such as a creature lie. can be evasive yeah. in its answer. Okay. Basically, you've turned into fey creatures for mm -hmm. the length of the spell. <laughs> mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this uh, kind of wave. <laughs> of energy spreads out and uh phaser you are leaning down on the floor and in a cot is the very weak looking celia what would you like to say um hello um celia do, I, I, do you remember us are you are you okay um kind of opening an eye you can see still kind of dried black gunk down her kind of tear ducts and she goes you were in Redwater, I believe. That's right. Um, and uh, Faze is going to cast fuck it, prestigitation <laughs> on a uh, sorry. We're in the moment. <laughs> um, uh, I like to imagine Faze saying "fuck it, fuck it." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a truth spell. Uh, but yeah, we're going to just cast uh, the that uh, to get rid of some of the gunk, just to try and okay. clean her up and make her feel a bit fresher. Um, okay. Uh, and she's oh. Thank you. That's very kind. That's all right. I, Thank um, you. I heard you were the ones that brought me here. Um, that's right. It, it's it's been a while, um, but um, I, I, you're better now. So so that's good. Um, I, thank you again. I well, thank you. There's not a lot else to say. I just I'm lucky to be alive. I I don't know what I would have done. How how are how are the others in the village? Um. Well. Well. You were the the. I think I oh know you're really stretching only one this affected. was episode bloody one wasn't it I think she you was were the only one affected <laughs> you were the only one affected so, so yeah, you definitely would saw. have died so it's good that we came <laughs> last we saw last we saw um, right well yeah. thank you as soon as I get back I'll tell them what you all did for us you think there's a reason why you were the only one affected I I don't know okay that's all right um well, well um I'm, I'm glad you're better and and but i just wanted to see you before we went anywhere else um, yeah. it's good to see you thank you so much I, I wish i could do more if you ever buy red more water again please come and see me of course i'd love to hear some more stories that would be cool well hopefully we do get around that way it's a quite a far place and we might not get there <laughs> Spell. Um, <laughs> as you speak well, she's kind of her eyes have nodded off again and she's exhaustedly gone back to sleep brother, well we need did, darius did... we speak to darius first brother um what did um what did they teach you at that monastery <laughs> they taught me lots of things uh they taught me how to fight they taught me history yeah. <laughs> they seemed um you know uh, in the army uh there is the idea that they're quite cruel but actually they're not they're very um they uh, poetry is a part of of uh, really the intellectual fight and and it's about um you must be calm and to command and other sorts of things what did what did they how cruel were they at the monastery it's as you say yes <laughs> Octavius, I, if you, I uh... don't know what um, I don't know what cruel is on a scale of one to ten, brother. Um, I imagine that warfare is cruel. I imagine that training is cruel. I had to see some horrible things. I had to um, suffer some horrible things, but we learn through pain, right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's not always the best way to learn, though, no? through pain, of course. Uh, I agree. Um. Okay. Uh, uh, and, above uh, the table, Johnny, do I have to roll for Zone of Truth as well? You're in it. I am in it. Oh, oh shit. Ooh. Well. <clears throat> With a 19, I think I'll be fine. That's Remember, if you beat it, that just means you can lie. Yeah. It's, if you can choose to go, well, I'll just fail it. I'm just not going to lie in this time. So mm. you can negate having to roll if you just decide that you mm. are just going to tell the truth. Um, the downside is, and I'll, I am just going to check the wording on the spell because it affects what you would know ryan as you were 
uh, casting it, I just typed something that would make Ryan very happy, Zone of Ryan, which is not a spell <laughs> yet. <laughs> But let's make it. That would be an amazing spell. spell. <laughs> Octavius, have you ever been in love? Right, okay, so you do know whether a creature... Um, this is interesting. Ripper, you do know exactly who has failed and exactly who has passed oh, in okay. this room. So I'm actually going to We ask don't know, for example. You don't know. Do we know but... Do we know we're in it? Sorry, I know you might have answered. You yes. would have felt a magical effect. Yes. Yeah. Is aware you are aware you are under the effects of the spell. All right. Six you don't necessarily know okay. what the spell is because you are not spellcasters who are you well versed in this kind of thing. You okay. will feel a magical effect on you. Um it's a bit like when you don't mean to lie and then you say something like holy shit, you know mm -hmm. like in mm -hmm. movies mm -hmm. where they're okay. like Just who did this and they're like oh it was that guy. <laughs> yeah. like, they cover themselves okay. up. It's that kind of spell. But if you succeeded and you shrug off the effects, you I will say, can you declare it to Ryan so he knows who has succeeded, um, at least. So okay. I will tell you right now, Darius Ventus did succeed on his throw, oh, but shit. Cecilia failed. Okay. Cool. And everyone else? I know you all failed, uh, didn't you? Yeah, I failed. I failed gloriously. <laughs> 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 so the question to Octavius again. Oh, yes. With who? My mother, of course. Oh, uh, well, I mean, like, I mean, like a relation. Is not that like how it goes down in Janella? Yeah, I mean, well, like... I, mean, f I like her. I love her as family, of course. Oh, okay. Oh, I meant like love, like in a relationship. Have the... you, know. you ever been in love with someone in like a relationship? You know, like. Oh never... no. Okay. All right. And fair enough. Why are you, you like propositioning me? Actually, like, do you like it? Because I'm okay with that. <laughs> Dan's like... of truth. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that you've got dark vision, do you like the fact that you can help guide me through areas where I cannot see by oh, letting no. me hold your hand? It's annoying. Okay. <laughs> I don't I think you need a zone of truth to tell you that. Octavius with zone of truth, man. That is just social awkwardness just... waiting to happen, isn't it? It's just a waste of a spell on Octavius, I think. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, well, um, maybe we should ask Octavius, uh... um, do you want to kill your brother? Um, yes. Okay. But I've already said that. <laughs> I'm just checking. Checking that it's real. Huh? That's good. Do I want to kill my brother? No. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> no. I want to kill you sometimes, but only the thought that I know is not real. It's just a thought <laughs> I have, you know? It's, you, it's been the way. Do you know, Octavius, do you know who the bird is or why the bird follows you? I have no idea. At this moment, Ignis walks in and is like, Oh, it smells like shit in here. <laughs> okay. Ignis! That was that weird. Mean, does that mean. Oh, me? fucking zone of truth! Who oh, just fucking zone of truth this place? <laughs> oh, is that what it was? I had no oh. idea. Oh, God. Oh, oh, fucking questions. guys. Oh. Okay, well, right. You didn't Imar need that for those questions. Uh, we're going to ask Darius Ventus some questions, to go to by the way. Darius. I don't want to be in there. I don't want to reveal any secrets to you motherfuckers. So i see you guys later. Okay. Bye. Oh, by the way, your reputation is definitely ruined. <laughs> I know. That's your question. <laughs> and it was mostly seed. <laughs> oh, okay. To the I best of my recollection. Octavius. Octavius, you're slightly off the hook now. <laughs> I didn't realize I was a Voron one. No, yeah. Wait, were you talking to the Minotaur? Talk to the Minotaur, don't talk yeah. to me. Uh, so uh, yes, give him a little nice. prod. Again, me. turns around his giant horns, taking out. Mm. Yes. Uh, um, we found this thing, and I point to Lack to give him a little show of the box. Lack, show him the box. Oh, um, okay, yes. I'll show the shard. So we found this okay. thing. Don't worry. Yes. Like you know, we we we've sorted out some uh, some stuff to do with it, make it all uh, better. Um, so, so cured the plague because of it. So I guess in some way or another, thank you very much for being part of the reason why Did we were able to cure the plague. I mean, in my house, I he just probably know, started the plague to begin where with. Where you? Where did yes, you? Where we did went you in your get house. it from? And was it like? Can you let us know? Because this kind of stuff's like imperative to us carrying on and being able to help. So I'm asking you, please. Do you have mice in your house, by the way? Make yeah. a persuasion check. 
I love that this is an interview where we're trying to interview someone where all, all of the interviewers are under a zone of truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 2022 on that persuasion attempt. Plague, I I mean, it, it's mine. I, an archaeologist sold it to me. He knows I like to collect things, but I... It didn't cause any plague. It's just a shining rock. Did you ask him well... where he got it from? <laughs> say it. Say it. <laughs> Octavius. Everyone in the back just trying to gag him. Um... You don't. You don't ask those sort of questions. Well, I, I think if you cause the plague in a city and have a, a, an element that actually causes you to shift uh, realities, then I think we're allowed to ask. Yeah. See, Nicely said. Normally, I'd be saying something like that, but you know, now he's you know he's got the fire now. You know, it's he's it's... got the truth inside me. It feels like uh, I'm yeah. burning to say the truth. Ex- excuse me, uh, Mr. Ventus. Um, yes. And I'm going to get my eyes charming out again. So he's got to be it be a DC 13. Um, can I can I ask um, what what were you looking for when the archaeologist bought you this? I mean, oh, if he knew you were interested. Very nice, aren't you? Look at your little goggles. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'm very <laughs> proud of them. Um, <laughs> they can I ask um. If, if oh, they are fetching goggles, aren't they? They're bloody good goggles. They look very good on her, you know. <laughs> what, 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 what were you looking for that the archaeologist thought that this this rock would interest you? And a shiny trinket, something unique, just to stand out amongst all the others, really? Said you, King, is responsible for the deaths of thousands. Come, what is I, the name? This shard didn't kill thousands it's just a shiny object makes things go a bit strange that's it yeah that strange um, thing killed thousands of you're people. not talking of shiny objects brother you know that little toy that i played with when we were young and then mm. mother told me um that some bandits came and into the village and only took the toy yes I, and I ran away and i played with it and i broke it um and i don't regret it at all because, you know i bloody knew it yeah i knew you it always got the, the new toys and i never got a toy and so and I took it you and got I all my best purpose. toys though. I, I specifically found the best ones I didn't want anymore. I gave them to you. Anyway, it's, they Mr. were curated, you know? It's perfect. Anyway, Mr. Ventis, um, <laughs> um, what was the name of the archaeologist? Is this someone that you used before? I never asked their names. What is okay. that? What, what kind of transaction is that? I mean, how I can just... you not? How do you find them again? Did these people just turn up randomly? You know, how can you believe that an entire group of bandits would come into the town and just take one toy and then leave again? I think we've gone on for a tangent here, but it's similar. Like that same belief that the bandits are still... Why do you not ask people their names? Did he have a crow on his shoulder? (laughs) I don't know. He was was in in the... I remember. It's come back to me. I was like... It was the guy with the crow. I remember. It's okay. Carry on. He, no, he. Oh, well. He was a bit smug, though. Uh, what did he? Was look his like? name Ignis? That could be anyone in Geneva, <laughs> to be honest. Um, from my um... <laughs> Ignis. He was. Um... Oh, he was a bit slimy too. Uh... Did he want to burn people's eyes out? <laughs> Again, could be Ignis. All could be Ignis. What no, I don't know who this Ignis person is. What did he look like? He had, um, <laughs> he had, um, losing the, I think, there we go. He had a goatee. Okay. Was he uh, human? He was, hard to tell. He did have a kind of a frilly jacket of some kind. Oh, it's that. Look, was it Seed Surrogate Father or Phaser Surrogate Father? You know? Six. Now it was the I guy. It was the no guy who owns. It was the guy who owns the Brotherhood. The brother. Yeah. Was, was did he like long words and um, seem very impressed with himself? Yes. Okay. And that could be most Janellans, Phaser. Uh, I, I, I resent I that. I know who it is. I think I know who that that uh, is. Present company accepted. I resemble that remark. Thank you. <laughs> Um, and may I ask about um, uh, the other artifact that we, we spied in your house? And I, I'm sorry we went into your house, but you were incapacitated. So we were trying to find out a little bit more about why you were there uh, in the hospital. 
Um, but um, there was a mirror um, that was in the same room. Yes, it was. What it did, everybody. It, one, we broke it? it. Oh, bugger. <laughs> it was. Oh. Oh, it's okay. It was just a mirror. Somebody went to touch, didn't they? They went to touch it the wasn't, object. Uh, it wasn't it was a mirror when we got Very rash. It could have been any one of us except for me because I'm the least rash here and I would think I would be the most. Well, I mean, it was, it was, it Everybody was here just me. touches things or, or releases things or opens things. It was very worrying. It was um, just the mirror so I could see the light reflecting in the crystal. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Um, right. Uh, did the archaeologist tell you any, about anything about where it came from? I didn't ask. Okay. How much did you pay for it? Oh. A lot. So, hang on. I don't get this because I don't um, own very much money. So I imagine I don't really know the worth of things. But I personally probably wouldn't buy something I didn't know about from someone I didn't know about and spend an awful lot of money on it. It seems... What's the word, brother? Janellen? Okay! <laughs> I mean, this is so rude. That's kind of bordering on xenophobia right now. <laughs> it's just my experience, you know? I'm trying to be open-minded, but it's... Uh, I've you know... tried to show you the best in our people. <laughs> he walks out you know, I room. like the bathhouse a lot. I'll give you that. I think, does that mean <laughs> Good people in the bathhouse. Yeah. If you walk out the sphere, right, that means you're... Oh, no, it's uh, for 10 minutes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Only whilst you're in the sphere. Okay. So if you okay. walk out the sphere, then you are fine. I mean, I'm, I think I'm still in the sphere outside the room. It's, it's not that big of a room. Foot yeah. Radius. yeah it's, it's, um... they're not big rooms, though, so you'd, oh, you'd right, be yeah, out. Does anybody have any other questions for Darius? He's looking very tired at this point. Can we can please see. go to your house? Thank you. Uh, absolutely uh, not. No, no. I'm... We should just go any because you've already been already. We might as well just go again. What's he gonna do? You know. Uh, tell the guards that you're going to break in. Morphine, morphine. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to press. Her. I mean, Darius, no, he wouldn't do that, Mister Ventus. It, it might be worth just checking that your your property is still intact um, before you go back, and it will make sure it's safe for you. Jam, jam, jam. <laughs> oh, you have very good liars, you two. Very, very good. I will. I was. I appreciate your help. Oh no, she's very intended help. to do it. <laughs> I it's my property. I, I don't appreciate people being there without me. I'll, I'll be out of here in a few days, and I suppose you can come and visit for your part in all of this. But okay. I would rather you didn't go there without me. Okay. Um. Let me, uh, 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 I'll try and make you feel a bit better so that you can get there a bit sooner, as you'll do prestidigitation on him as well. Thanks. Got some homework. Almost, there. Almost, there. Got Almost there. You've got some <laughs> homework so to close. do. Mate, I've been trying. We've been doing this for six months and I still haven't got it. <laughs> I wouldn't worry. It's one of those spells, I think, that was designed <laughs> to just fuck with players when mm -hmm. it was called. Could have called anything else. It's a ghost. It's all right. <laughs> cool. Anyway, she's done that. Uh, just before we that. leave, mm -hmm. in the Leave the Sphere, in No Mesh, I want to ask Phaser. Uh, does she, uh, Faser, were you, were you pushed out of your, of, um, Zuati or were you running from something? Um, I, I, I left. Oh, uh, my own accord. Okay. That's it. Um, okay. Uh, and. That's as... very rude, brother, isn't it? Talking another language in front of other people. He says in yeah. endearing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reflexively. Totally. Totally. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I will. I will drop. I will drop okay. the sphere of the uh, side of tree. So this kind of pink. And while we're at it, I never really liked um, the clothes you used to wear when you were younger, um, brother. Oh look, the zone of truth is still here. Um, um, and I thought you had a really stupid haircut. Um, it's <laughs> oh. Okay. Very, very funny you are. You pretend <laughs> to you're under John of Truth. You know John of very, Truth very is not good, true very anymore. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a really good haircut, you know, uh -huh. like really good. All the other kids were like, "Oh, I want one like yours." Really, um, really long. Yeah, yeah, really long, longest, right down to my feet. But really yeah. short at the front. 
and really short in the front. Baby, the, baby they, they called it a mullet, but it was like one that went all the way down. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Mm-hmm. With the style, you know, trendsetter. Um, maybe we should find in Mara. <laughs> good idea. In you doesn't take you long to head back down, and you find in Mara in her office. Imara, I've got big, huge favour to ask you. Of course, Ripper. Ask her for a boat. Well, (laughs) uh, she hasn't got a boat. Um, So basically, you know, you know the Brotherhood of Ash, right? Oh, alas, yes. So here's what we're thinking of doing, right? You know how we told the old uh, Fawn? No, Uh, Leggett. The Leggett. Leggett. We all told the old Leggett. (laughs) <laughs> that you know where, where to find the um where to find the brotherhood of ash right they're basically yes. they're basically they want one of your journals right because they want to like learn all your secrets and stuff and they asked us to steal it but we're gonna do that because you know we like you and oh, you know never like that. my magical secrets have taken a lifetime yeah, of to course build. of course of course right so here's what i'm thinking they're gonna keep trying to get your magical secrets right over and over and over again some way so here's what we should do grab me and i grab like a blank journal off the side and i'm like can you write like some false information in here that sounds believable enough right and then, hold on a minute hold on a minute let me do it right and then that way they'll think they've hit the jackpot right they'll be like trying to do all their magic and stuff and while their backs are turned and all huddled in a corner right leg it comes in gets rid of all that lot and then gets out of there so you know I believe it's called a, a false flag operation. Ripper, that would be terribly unethical. Hmm. Um, uh, is it but I'm more... asking you with a please. Yeah, it could be unethical to burn the eyeballs of a bunch of people under the effect of a plague, Imara. but Ignis got a, a carte blanche, didn't he? Oh, Imara, it may have... Ignis. It does Sorry, look... Faser. That's a... It does look as though the captain of the, the Brotherhood of Ash um, may have, have started this process. Um in in Cinderbane, I think. And, well, and it's a good thing you've sent the Legion there then. But but I, I he is a very tricky character. Um and and as much as I, I like to tell the truth and, and, and be very honest, the the simple truth is that sometimes to to get the truth out of a trickster, you must trick them. Hmm. You make a good case between the two of you. I suppose Ripper there is some truth in what you're saying. He is a danger. I mean, I've sort of got better things to do than spend all night faking a journal, though. Um, I mean, perhaps there is a journal which 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 does not hold very. Uh, oh, we don't. Uh, we don't need that. I mean, the whole journal. Be, it just needs a little alteration here and there. Okay, and hang on. Perhaps that would she work. stands up and walks over to uh, her shelves, and then she passes her hand over, and the entire shelf just shimmers and kind of turns to sand. <laughs> and reveals another hidden shelf behind it, uh, upon which are just stacks of journals. And she looks at them and says, uh, yes, yes, first year of university, second year. Nothing they can reverse training. engineer, please. Uh, nothing, ah, absolutely nothing. This could be quite interesting. And uh, she pulls it off and it's quite a thin thing. And as she waves her hand, the sand just reforms into the other shelves in front of um, her hidden cove. She goes, yes, you see, this was one of the, my first experiments, my first delves into uh, healing magic. I got rather a lot wrong and ended up with some quite embarrassing ailments as a result. Hmm. If this isn't done by an expert practitioner, Would you turn in to do something pink with yellow spots? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> That did happen to me. That was one of the things that happened. Uh, we've got some potions that might do that. You should probably that. know someone selling potions with that early mixture going on. Oh, God. That wasn't that little twerp up in the uh, north, was it? It was selling uh, that little magic yes, shop. Yes, the, the shop guy, mm. yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, Mirin, I believe his name was. Uh, oh, as much as I hate to admit it, I think the world would be a little bit safer without him. Well, we don't know he's dead, you know. Oh, <laughs> I, I do. Oh, okay, fair enough. Hey, oh, that yeah. means your shops, um, not okay. Cool, thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe we should I'll do some shopping what, on the way up. Yeah, this one's idea. this one's perfect because it's nice and thin. I can say, oh, I had to like sneak it. I couldn't take a big book, you know, because you'd notice it's gone. Take a little cheeky little thin journal, you know. I like this one. Right. Um. 
enjoy. Yeah, should be good. I'll Thank put it in the bag help. of holding. You're welcome. Put it in okay. the man bag of holding. Well, don't, don't um, worry, I'm not following either. No, I don't think I he am. He never does. <laughs> Six bows nice a low bow. Yes, out well, of respect. Tudal pip. All right, should we go to old uh, Brotherhood of Ashes yeah. hideout? Should we, should we take a quick, uh, like a rest? Maybe not a quick rest. <laughs> It, you did have a short day? rest at lunch. It's kind of mid-afternoon yeah. at this point, so it's only about okay. two, three hours after your lunch. Okay, fair enough. Um, at some point, we want to find somewhere we can get a long rest just to charge up again, don't we? Maybe. Um, yeah, I think we'll hit that at the yeah. end of the day, probably. Okay. Okay. Uh, right, what was the name of the guy? Oh, flipping it. Hold on. <laughs> Lucius Axius. Yes! Lucius Axius. Cool, and uh, where were they? The three jacks, jack of all trades, jack on top of a horse. They were Jackson sorry, Pollux. Have to get into the correct map because I've got so many different maps running. Was that Elysium uh, or was that somewhere we stayed? No, Elysium was in Shade Mantle. They are oh. in Ashfall, hidden yep. in the Ashfall. We got taken to their pub, didn't we? That was after called we, after we two the it. Nameless Tavern. Ah, or the Unnamed nice Tavern. Uh, so as you were heading back there? Yep. So as you're heading back there, um, you get there fairly easily. The streets are even more deserted than usual. Um, when you do get there, you find the tavern empty. You find some stains on the floor uh, that kind of indicate that the plague victims had been here. Avery, if you want to find more, make me an investigation or perception check. I'll investigate to see if there are any... Um belongings oh, that we can do take with us aunt and uncle have been eaten again 11 got 19 i have been bratted today uh... <laughs> all I'm gonna say. i've had some pretty damn good rolls i got a natural yeah. 20 plus 5 25 investigational perception 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 as you look around you see um signs of kind of conflict and quick getaways kind of scuffs on walls and uh you find a few kind of bronze and gold coins lying around the place, totaling about seven gold. That's it. Uh, uh, those with the investigation checks, you search around and find kind of torn, burnt ledgers in the fireplace um, that again are on scrolls rather than bound books. You see kind of, it looks like it's been at least a week since anyone was here. Uh, all right. Um... Can I, has someone got your paper? Probably, yes. Just I just for supplies, so I assume that would cover paper. Right. Do we want to maybe leave, do you want us like leave them a note or something? Um, Probably not the best idea, considering that they are, you know, um, And the legionnaires will be here. In oh, yeah, that's a fair point. Day. All right, well, I guess, you know. You know, briefly, I think we should look for any trap doors or any places of hiding. Um, maybe there right, are say, with ripper's perception you're fairly confident okay that there is nothing well they're not hiding anywhere here um yeah maybe we just keep the book and if we run into them again we have a bargaining chip of some kind mm. this is true okay where uh, to you next folks as we're walking up just be like cooey we got journal uh anyone about no response all right fair enough let's head out here Maybe, maybe, maybe they they hold up somewhere. Um, maybe I, some of them. I don't think we have enough time to search them. this entire town for no, some. No, not at all. No. Um, yeah, Ignis but... is waiting for us. I think. Okay. okay. Are you, so you mentioned earlier you wanted to head to the Silverthorn's Oddities, uh, the match shop. Did you want to go there, or did you want to go back to Ignis? Yeah, let's do that. I think a little waddle by the shop. <laughs> so it takes about. 35 minutes to get there and um, by the time you manage to get there you find again shop deserted make me an investigation or perception check if you would like to know more right oh. 21 for my investigation this time 17 perception 10 perception 13 investigation 14 but investigation as you all look around it looks very similar to the nameless tavern that it just seems to have been kind of ransacked quite early on 
during uh, whatever was happening when things started getting really out of hand. Uh, Lack, as you are kind of ducking down and looking underneath, you do manage to find a small plain pine box that's sort of underneath one of the counters it's been tucked up and inside a lip so okay. it's been hidden round hidden round well i take it um i think i found something everyone and i try and open the box you're just gonna open it yeah i mean sure okay <laughs> as you open the box it has got um green velvet lining that's nestled nice. inside are form for palm-sized glass orbs. One is kind of smoky with this grey undulating smoke. Another one has a sort of um, milky kind of colour to it. The third is looks like green clouds kind of roiling inside. And the last is kind of sparking with electricity inside. These look... Um... Fragile. Interesting. They look fragile. Benza, do you want to um have a little look at these? Do you know what these might yes. be? Yes. Yes. Um, and I will cast. If I cast identify, do I have to do it on each orb, or is that going to work? Essentially, on no. I'm going to say, due to the nature of this item, you can um just cast it, and it will identify the items. So oh, after are you using a spell called, slot, I knew a guy called Benny used to make these these sort of things. As you cast the spell, uh, you're using, uh, yeah, identify, and it's an instant for you, or are you using it as a ritual? Uh, let's use it. Well, it's a it's a ritual spell, I think. Yeah, so um, it'll take you 10 yeah. minutes to sit and actually cast. Oh, it says casting time, one minute. Yeah, okay. Uh, so as you identify these, you find that you have Visima's Orb of Irritation. Visima's. So uh, there are four of these. They should be on D&D Beyond already. Still so sounding more them. and more like anal beads to me. I didn't want to say anything, but it does sound a little she bit did. like that. <laughs> but I had to when it said it was, you know, primarily for irritation. At least, at least, at least I made the Ben joke. I mean, then you know? they're not strings together, so. <laughs> the yeah, that's true. Smoky up. <laughs> when, thro when thrown, releases a thick smoky cloud, which emulates the darkness spell. The cloudy orb, when thrown, it shatters and releases a milky vapour that em emulates the silence spell. The mouldy orb, when thrown, causes a creature to be poisoned for one minute with no save. The sparking orb uh, pulses with static electricity. When thrown at a target, it causes 1d6 lightning damage. The target then has to make a con save or become stunned until the end of your next turn. Uh, yeah, I'll, take, I'll take these, brother. Items. Come on, I'll look after these. I've I used think we should um, just throw grenades them all like these. I think the guy that can them throw once. them the best takes them. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Um, what are you talking about? I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd say it's probably me, brother, just so you know. Oh, you can put one in each arm, yeah? Well, that would be amazing. I never even thought about doing that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You can have it. Yeah, I'll yeah. keep them for now, but I think maybe we'll, we'll talk about it later. Just for now. Okay. It might be useful for Phaser because sometimes she finds um, it difficult to know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phaser do, or I, one of the rest of us, maybe I me. I do have know. a sling. Um, so, you know. And I've got these guns. Yes. <laughs> what I have done for you all is uh, I've stuck it in the Zoom chat, just what they're actually called, because it is an item I have made. So you I can find this. In, um, D &D you search in the D &D and Beyond. Yeah. Yes, I said I had thought I'd already added it, but just in case, it's all there for your own vindication. Cool. So with uh, this, is this no all your business no sign of No sign of the Brotherhood or people in and around here. Uh, you start to see people kind of going about their business again as the first few survivors around. You see a very, very heady, heavy Griffin Legion presence, and these are clearly come from one of the main garrisons. These are fighting fit troops who are kind of, you know, really clean uniforms, patrolling... You get the sense that criminals are not going to be wandering around in this. Yeah, fair enough. So we head back to old Ignis and the TP. Okay. So you get back to Ignis, who by this point is kind of waiting outside, just leaning down, lying down in the forum, looking up, going, bloody miserable here. 
from itself as ash starts just falling again against the blackened buildings. You're ready to get back to Blinky. Maybe, you yeah. know, stay the night, have a little bit of dinner, it's getting on a bit. It'd be even darker up there because, you know, moving across the country, time differential. I was just going to ask that. So, yeah, thank you very much for the offer of hospitality. Eh, hey, what can I say? You ruin my reputation, I feed you. I guess that's just the way this yeah, works now. Yeah, yeah. In, in in Indiri, it's quite it's quite common to to lend or to give olive branches to those who have wronged yeah, you. Yeah, you feed you and clothe your enemies branches. often, uh, as well as your friends, right? I got plenty yeah. of food though, so uh, are we all good? Yeah. Right, everybody, hold hands. <gasps> and I run next to Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay. <laughs> Come on, brother. Just this, just one, this, one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. I only one. have my two at the moment. <laughs> okay, I learned a new spell. I hope this is gonna work. What? Don't say that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> he clicks his fingers. Uh, with that, you all kind of disappear and feel yourself just being pulled through. Um, and Dan, can you roll me a d100? Is it always oh, me? Shit. Is that because I've been rolling shit? Is that why? <laughs> is this gonna this be a, good, good one, a goblet of fire? Sort of. Yeah. Everyone gets lit up. <laughs> Uh -oh. Yeah, oh, fine. 67. That's right. Oh, That's two almost. thirds good. 67. No, 67, not 67. Mm. Of damage. 12 D12. <laughs> <laughs> um, 67. Okay. With that, you disappear. And we'll find out where you reappear next week. Oh. Knew it. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you very much uh, for playing tonight, folks. Uh, I was going to say it was me talking to the audience and you at the same time. <laughs> well done, folks. I would say this is officially the end of the first arc. Uh, oh, this is the we end. Get level up? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just got one. Yeah, uh, we did. <laughs> But this shot. is the end of now the Cinderbane arc. So mm. congratulations on officially closing off. That's that major quest. Ding! Ticked out. Nice. Achievement unlocked underneath. Yeah, yeah. Cinderbane. What's that first Thank level you. in Divinity? It's like that, isn't it? It's just come out of the prison level or whatever, it's, whatever it is. I mean, a bit, a bit further than that. That would have been like your... Um, okay, fair enough. Yeah, around yeah. That. You've, yeah, you've like a chunk in. Um, so, you know, well done. We will be heading north to Wildshore to the uh, revelry there to see what is happening, which will be very exciting. Um, so, Ryan, if people want to talk to us about the, you know, what was happening tonight, because lots was happening, where could mm. they talk to us? I would like all of you to cast Zone of Truth on yourself. <laughs> and when you cast Zone of Truth on yourself and fail your charisma check, please then go to blood song party on twitter and tell us about it or blood and song on facebook and instagram can you please make sure you are sharing this with all of your friends it's what i really want i'm not a lot of people like say you know subscribe to me coward we're not like that over here you know we're not that kind of people we don't have to put that kind of energy up there but if you would like to find us on youtube and subscribe you can if you search for blood and song area and well to beat that pesky algorithm and make sure you are ringing that bell icon and liking and sharing with everything for us and also a big thank you to Sirenscape tonight for providing the sounds I remember to use in the first half that just decided to stop working for me in the second <laughs> half, but that's more my technology than theirs. Um, epic games do need epic sounds. Uh, it'd be nice if my internet would play them. Uh, so thank you, Sirenscape. <laughs> Please check out the links in our description, and that will show you all the sound sets that we use, or at least some of them. Thank you also to D&D &D Beyond and uh, to Foundry VTT for allowing us to host our virtual content. And thank and... you, Johnny, for taking us through our first act. Yeah. That, was, that was great work. I know, you know, we, we all have other jobs. We come to the table every Monday. We come with the baggage that a Monday brings and that maybe the last week has bring, brought or the busyness of the weekends now. And I, I re, I, every time we're a few minutes into the game, my spirits are enlivened. And I, I appreciate you leading the, us through this first act. Always a pleasure to try and kill you all every week. <laughs> and that's why you're having such a good time, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> maybe. 
Um, it was good. No combat tonight, but you got magic items. You crossed some stuff up. You got some answers. Hopefully, have a few more questions. Least, mm. Better be some next week. Otherwise, you've got some big bad also, no, queen com combat as well. in real life, mate. Mm. Get yeah, mate, yeah, ten thousand gold. Dollars, you can yeah. get wrecked, son. Yeah, except that we, you know we're going to have to buy a boat with it. It's going to go. <laughs> oh, it's look just, at that! You just, just got all that money. A boat is, like... is nine hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars. <laughs> Proper adult stuff. Like we want to get smashed, but we can't. We've got to save it. We've got to save it for transport. All right, commuting costs. I so. mean. <laughs> maybe <laughs> um yeah i we will yeah you'll see next week there is shit plan you've got to get to wild shore first yeah we've got to survive True. and we know there'll be manticores in the area maybe uh so that'll be thing, things worth exploring but i guess we'll find out next week so wherever you are have a wonderful week and may the great mother guide you in all that you do good night oh fuck it's not working one sec one sec keep waving keep waving <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> already, the best thing.